Right? Thy word, O oh Lord, which healeth all things. Right? It's the word of Yahweh Shemashah that has restored us back to health. And this is all talking spiritually. All right? But we're waiting on Yahweh Shemashah to return so we could be uh, uh, physically restored, man. You know? Well, we have to be changed, man. Taking out of these uh, weak ass bodies, man. You got the word here? Uh, old English Helen Cure. Save, make whole, sound, and well. Cure, save, to make whole. All right, the word whole. Why, why is, why is, the, why do they call uh, whole foods whole foods, man? It's, it's dealing with health. Okay? Health, a sound, perfect, complete, complete. complete. Those are all interchangeable, man. Go ahead, read it slow, bro. Old English, Halim, cure, save, make whole, sound, and well. And well, right. This, this truth brought us back to wellness, man. You know, because remember, we were those those uh, those dried bones, man. You know, we had no nourishment. We had no uh, uh, life. no life. Okay? But it's Yahweh Shemel Shai, the Spirit of the Lord, that uh, revived us, man. Keep going on that Hosea, bro. So that's the exact word that it's going to use. Give me that. Give me that in the etymology. Whoever can get it, revive. Hosea six and one, come and let us return unto the Lord, for He hath torn, and He will heal us. Right, come get this healing, man. Then not Yahweh Shai say, uh, uh, get that one where Yahweh Shai said, find rest for your souls. Get that scripture real quick, man. You know, because this is where you're going to find rest for your souls, man. Like the scripture say, those that mourn, come rest with us. Paraphrasing. This is it right here. This world ain't going to do nothing for your spirit, man. This world is going to destroy your spirit. Bring down your spirit. Okay? You got it? Yeah. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7. That's not the one, but that's the good one. Go ahead. Come on, come on. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Right, to you who are troubled, man. If you see how wicked this world is, how demonic it is, if you blessed it enough to see it, and to, and to acknowledge it, you you know, hey, come 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 partake in this truth, man. Repent, you know. I want that one with you. Have a shot. I got it. Go ahead. Uh. Matthew's eleven and twenty-nine. There we go. Take third, third uh, 28, 27. Matthew's eleven and twenty-seven. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Right. And you got some men that don't want to worship you. Have a shot. But Yahweh Shai said all things are delivered unto him by the Father, man. Okay, you can't get to the Father but by Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. Right. And he and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Mm. Come unto me and all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Right. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and, lead, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. Look at that. There we go. That's the one. So you, you turn to the Lord, you will find rest for your souls, man. Okay. You know, that's why Yahweh Shai said, They that drink of this water that I have shall not thirst, man. You're going you gonna, you gonna to be spiritually hydrated, man. You know? You got something? Go ahead. For well, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Right? You know? This truth is, is, is uh, bearable, man. Okay? Where was that? And it counters all the wickedness that's going on in this world, man. Right. Okay? Because just like that, uh, Job, Job was vexed, you know, he was vexed with, with, uh, Come on, Lot. Lot, Lot, Lot was vexed. Yep. Okay? And Noah, he was vexed. Yep. Okay? With the, with the filthy conversation of the, the, wicked. of the wicked. Yep. The filthy goings of the wicked. Okay? This is the only rest that you get. This is your, this is your out, your only comfort, man. your only comfort, man. You know, there's no other comfort in this world but this, man. That's why Peter, when, 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 when the majority of uh, uh, the Lord's disciples uh, walked away, the Lord was like, "Are y'all, will y'all walk away too? Are y'all gonna leave too?" And Peter was like, "Lord, where, where should we go? Oh. You know, Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we are sure that you are the anointed. We are sure that you're the Son of the Heavenly Father. So where are we gonna go, man?" All right, nothing else compares to this truth, and nothing else is gonna uh, nourish you spiritually, man. Everything else is death. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing else really matters. Nothing else matters, nothing man. Matters. What else is gonna comfort you in this society, bro? Exactly. 
Right. All right, so this is where you go to find rest for your souls, man. Yep. And when, when things get heavy and hard, and the way gets hard, this is the way. This is the way. Okay? When, things, when, when, when Esau comes with that comes with that flood, okay, There's there, the high ground is going to be this truth. That's right, I. Okay? That's, That's the right. only way you're going to be able to survive Esau and his wrath, man. That's right. Because the Lord is the one who put that on him to come after you, man. Mm -hmm. And if you're not of that number, if you have a you're going to get caught up in it, man. And, right. and all the calling on Jesus and everything that you know, that's going to fail you, man. Account, all that shit is going to fail you, man. All that shit's going to fail you, man. Right. You know? And then once our people see who they're really dealing with, Esau, you know, <laughs> it's going to be way too late, man. Way too late. You know? Yeah, because they think that Esau, Edom, is their friend yeah okay because he allowed them to have certain certain liberties man. yeah and you still you still your mind is still trapped in a society you're yeah. still fucking uh 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 under heavy delusion yeah. man yeah. and thinking that the, the so-called white man is to set things up to profit you man no this, this motherfucker wants to kill you man exactly. if you're a so-called negro hispanic and native american you you hey the devil has it out for you man Okay, the Lord is gonna allow him to touch you, man. Yep. Okay, but like you said, the ones, the ones that that are, that are in, that, in that secret place, we gonna have, we gonna have the high ground uh, when that flood come, man. Right. Cause we established them upon that rock. Yep. Now let's go back to Hosea. Hosea six and one. Come and let us return unto the Lord. We have torn, and He will heal us. That's right, man. And we're seeing it, man. We're seeing all the tribes. Return back to the Lord, man. Right. If you t uh, tune in to the to the prophets, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you'll see all the tribes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got birds from Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Gad, Reuben, Ephraim, Simeon, uh, Naphtali, Issachar, Zebulon. You know, all returning back to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Give me that one in uh, Baruch. Baruch, fourth chapter, the last couple verses, man. Because how are we being gathered? Do the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shad, man. Okay? Real quick. You got that? Come on. And in order to return, you have to have been there in the well. first place. Right. Okay. So all them, them nations, all, yeah, the other nations, they've never been with the Lord. The Lord never okay. gave them the law, statutes, and commandments, so they can't return. Well shit, okay. you don't see, you don't see the other nations on street corners prophesying the word of the Lord. Right. What about you don't the, see it? What about the, the small hats? Right, right. Okay, they they the one who claims to be the people of the Lord. Well, where they at? Where they at? Where your little sanctuary is at? It's non-existent. Why? Because you're not the people, man. Come You know? Go ahead, out. Baruch 4, 27. Be of good comfort, oh my Shit, children. if anything, they're attacking the word. Yeah. yeah. If anything, you trying to stop the word, man. You know? That's the world you playing. Yep. Like, uh, like when they was building the temple. You had them nations trying to frustrate their purpose, man. You know, trying to hinder us, man. Go ahead. Be of good comfort, oh my children, and cry unto the most high. Right, well, it's time for us to cry to the Lord, man. Hey, and we're crying now. This is a form of crying right here, man. Crying out to our power. Because we're doing this all in the names of Yahweh Bashim al man. Go ahead. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Hey, and we're proof that we're being remembered of the Heavenly Father, man. By Hashem Yahavashai, because we're 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 fully uh, uh we're fully uh, back connected to our power, man, like we were before. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. All right. It's time to catch up, man. We're playing catch up with the Lord, man. You know, we we trying to get in the in the in the, in the good graces of Yahweh by Hashem Yahavashai, man. So we don't have no time to, to slap. We don't have no time to, to lollygag, man, so to speak. All right, you gotta give, you gotta give diligence, man. Okay, go ahead. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again Look, with I, your salvation. You see how the scripture say the Lord brought these plagues upon us, man. Okay, the Lord has it to where you, our people was killing each other. Our, our neighborhoods was flooded with uh, uh, crack cocaine. Okay, the Lord put the so-called white man over you, man, to punish you, man. The Lord got us over here on the side of the earth, going through it, catching hell for centuries, man. As if nobody gives a damn about yeah. us, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord painted that picture, man. The Lord made that your reality. Yeah. Okay? 
and it's going to be that much more great of a deliverance when the people that they said that, like Christian Solomon said, these people are uh, these are these the men? these the ones? Yep. Right, because the scripture said that we're the offscoring of the earth. Right. You know, the whole world looked looked down on us, right. but that's all right. Because every time Mayweather stepped in that ring, the whole stadium was against him, man. Exactly. I ain't never, I ain't never seen a Mayweather fight. <laughs> he had fans. It was always the crowd was against Mayweather, man. Yeah. Okay. But what do you do? He shut him up every goddamn time, yeah, every man. Time, and that's what the Lord's gonna do. That's right. The Lord's gonna do that with His people and His elect. That's right. Okay. Because they, they've been, they've been downtrodden us. They won't let us bring the word out. Okay, but the Lord is going to—he's going to—he's going to attack all of that. That's like right. They attack us. He's going to attack them back. The Lord is going to be our our shield and buckler, our man. Defense. And our defense. Our defense and gonna, our offense. He's going to fight for us, man. Right. You know, he's going to fight for us, man. And he is fighting for us, man. Right. That's why we're here. That's right. Go ahead. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. All right, so it's a set day where the Lord's going to put an end to all this shit, man. Mm -hmm. And that, that comes with our minds. Because we're not like you people. We know we ain't going to grow in this society. Die in captivity. Hell no, man. The Lord going to come back, man. Go ahead. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he has still gave thee that, that name for comfort. Read it again. Huh? Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, Right, Jerusalem. How do you say Jerusalem in the Hebrew? Oh. Come on, I got to get into that last one for Dash, brother. You got to get into it, bro. You have to. Jerusalem in the Hebrew is Jerusalem. Jerusalem, city of peace, bro. You got to get into them words, bro. Go ahead. So the Lord gave us that name. The Lord gave us the name of Yahshua. He is a prince of the Most High. Okay? And the scripture says in Hosea, get that real quick, one in uh, ten. You know? The scripture says that we're going to, in the land where it was said we weren't the sons, no, we're going to be called the sons. Go ahead. So, the book of Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. Read it with some power. This is Hosea 1 and 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel, the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Right, but let the devil tell you, he's going to tell you that you're the minority. How the hell this dude get away with that? You know, but he controls the numbers. He, he does all of that, you know? The media. The media. The media. Okay. And everybody believes it, you know? Yeah. But that that that's a that's an attack on your confidence. Mm -hmm. Man, we're the minority. No wonder we've been conquered. Nah, man, we're the majority, man. Yeah. But he ain't gonna tell you that the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American are the same people. He ain't gonna tell you that. He divided us. He divided, divided us. Divided, divided conquer, man. It's already, it's already, all the information is out there for you tribes to wake the fuck up. Yep. Go ahead, read again. Yeah. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, right? Which cannot be measured nor numbered. Right, you can't, you can't measure the sand that's in the sea. You can't measure the sand that's outside the sea, man. Right. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them. Where is that? Right here in, in Babylon the Great, man, America, man. They call you Negroes. First we were, we were colored yeah. Negroes. Uh, now they calling you African Americans. He was Afro American. You know? Yeah. They calling you Mexicans, Hispanic, yeah. Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Latino, Indigenous. What the fuck is that? Nah, it's contained in the Bible, man. Right. All right. Those are byword. Those are byword, man. Naming when, you after languages and land back to curses. Yeah. yeah. You know, and colors. And colors. How the hell are we gonna be black? Right. When none of us is black. This world is upside down. Right. Not even Ham, who who is like the darkest nation. Dirty not dark. Even, yeah, they not even black. Yeah. Okay. None of them is the color of that car. Well, everyone's brown except the so-called devil. Right. right. So-called white man. <laughs> but he. This is the. These are the games that he plays. Yep. He's the red. Speak of. And it's like, bro, he's red and try to put that on Gad, man. But if you putting that on gas, you got to put that on all the northern kids. Right. They're all the same complexion. Yep. You know, but he ain't going to tell you that you got dark-skinned Gadites. He ain't going to tell you that you got dark-skinned Reubenites. Mm -hmm. You got dark-skinned Ishkar. You go to Cuba, yeah. they dark-skinned. Hey, when they put them on TV, when they put the, 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 the uh, northern kingdom on TV, where they, they got one look. 
got one they look. Got one look. And it's close to being so called white. Okay. Now you can't you can't Ooh. you can't even uh identify what tribes uh uh, uh Jake's are from, man. Like my seeds. You, you can't tell me what tribe they're from. Yeah, you wouldn't know unless you knew me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead, Art. This one's there, seven and eight. Ephraim. We in that was there today. Go ahead. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. Right. Do slavery. Okay. Go ahead. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Right. And when you have a cake unturned, you're going to have two different uh, uh, colors, man. One might be a little darker, one going to be real light. Mm -hmm. If you want, if it's not unturned. And, and it being unturned is the batter on top. Yep. Okay. The yep. batter is usually a light color. And, okay. and, and that, that's how Ephraim is. Yep. Ephraim is really light, man. You know? You got real light, uh, 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 Northern Kingdom, man. Yeah. Look at Canelo, man. Oh, man. He's a per he's a good example, man. You know? Yeah, and, and red colored hair. Ginger. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> but you, hey, I, I grew up I grew up knowing uh, Jake's like that. You know? Go ahead on that, Hosea. Yeah. Uh, it's like in Hosea 1 and 10. It says that in that place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Right. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Right, Yasha Olive. Now that's being proclaimed. That's being declared who we truly are, man. We're the sons of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? So let's go back to what was that? I, I don't think you got to jump down to the point. Good. Uh, last group. couple of verses. Done. The group 4 and 35. Or 34. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Uh -huh. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. This is all speaking about Babylon, man. Go ahead. Long to endure, and she shall be inhabited with devils for a great time. Right, now devils are talking about them, them, uh, them uh, desert creatures, man. Lining up with uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter, Revelation the 18th chapter, man. Okay, matter of fact, go to 18 real quick and read that precept. All right, because once this place is, uh, is imploded by nuclear fire, all right, because that is going to be the end of America, man. I don't know if you got the memo, okay, but America's going to be destroyed by nuclear fire in World War III, okay? After that, no man's going to uh, inhabit this place ever again. Go ahead, Ock. No, go up a little bit. So it mentions, uh, let me see. Uh, two. So they mentioned devils. Oh, okay, okay. It's uh, Revelation. One, Isaiah 13. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Right? It is fallen. Which is America. The right? Babal goes back to what? I mean, Babel goes back to Babal, which Babal means what? Confusion. Okay, you can't tell me that this place ain't, ain't the city of confusion. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. It says, it has fallen and it has become the habitation of devils. Uh -huh. And and hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now that's talking about them desert creatures, man. Yeah. Them little critters that's going to be here after that destruction. Because they're able to take that. Yeah. You know, they're able to, to live within that, uh, Harsh environments. Them, them environments, man. Yeah. Now get that one in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 13, verse uh, 19. There we go. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. another, and, another thing with Sodom and Gomorrah, that land, is, that land was completely devastated by a fire and coal, man. So much to where Esau took his ass over there and, and researched it and found out that that, that, that uh, that land was taken out that way, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yep, yep, it's still there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Now we know that's talking about America. America, because well Babylon, ancient Babylon was uh what was, right. was was, was it's, it's modern day Iraq, man, and, and it's inhabited, man. Yep. People are over there, man. Yep. Go ahead. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the 
shepherds make their fold there, right? But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. Look at that. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and house shall dwell there, and satire shall dance there. That's right. Keep going, huh? And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their, de in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. Uh -huh. And in her time is near, and her time is near to come. Right, read that again. So I can. And her time is near to come. And her time is near to come, man. This place ain't got long to last, man. Yeah. You on borrowed time, Esau Edom. The time is not on your side, man. Go ahead. And her days shall not be prolonged. And her days shall not be prolonged, man. Mm. So that's why the scripture said the third world coming quickly, man. It's gonna happen quickly, man. You got something? So I'm just that definition of satire. Okay, let's go. Uh, desert creatures and demons. Okay. Uh, people that are gonna plague this land. Yeah. That's our uh, etymology online dictionary. Uh, one of a type of woodland deity, part human or animal, demigod or spirit of the air or woods, companion of Bacchus. Okay. Okay. He said the satire is gonna dance there, so it's demons like, like just ran it up a roof. You know, the devils are gonna be here as well. No. Okay. I got a preset. Right up. This is Second Exodus chapter two, verse eight. And nine, it says, Woe be unto thee, Asher, Asher, that thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee. O thou wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, whose land lies in clouds of pitch and heaps of ashes. Even and so, why, why did the Lord destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Because they were doing nothing but abominable, filthy acts. Okay, abominable, filthy acts. Read Genesis, the 19th chapter, man. It goes all into it, man. Okay? So the Lord said this place is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Yeah. Okay? We ain't got to tell you why, man. You know? Take your ass outside and look around. You got men sleeping with men. Women lying with women. It's That's worse. wickedness, man. It's even worse because you got men changing their sex to women. You got women changing their sex to men. Yeah. Which is why... America, like you said earlier, is known as uh, a ball. Yep. Confusion. confusion. All right, this is a city of confusion, man. You guys see yourself on this sign right here? One more try. What are you, Mexican? What are you? Huh? I know, but from where? Salvadorian and Mexican. Okay, so you, you're you an Israelite. You guys are Israelites. You're from, you're from El Salvador? Yes. You're, you're from the tribe of Zebulon. And you're from the tribe of Issachar. That's your true identity according to the Bible. Okay, we've been lied to. The so-called black man, okay? The West Indians, the Haitians, the Native Americans, and the Latinos, we're all the same people, man. Okay, and this Bible is our book. Okay, and we've been lied to it. The way you heard the Bible growing up, that's not the truth of the Bible. Because I, I think it's like my, my belief, right? Uh -huh. Like, uh, yeah, the, the actual people are not the, the ones that Nope, no, nope, they're lying. I, I agree. Give me that revelation real quick. Yeah. Uh, two. So why, why are you saying about like Christ? Well, we're telling you that we're telling. First of all, we're telling you who you are, because we've been lied to. So we're telling you who you are according to the Bible. You're you're a black from the tribe of Zebulon. Okay, and we're telling our, our people the Lord looked like us. He didn't look like the so-called white man. I know our people like to worship Guadalupe. They like to worship uh, how they portray Jesus Christ. His, his name is not Jesus Christ. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And they're, they're dark complexioned men. Dark complexion. Okay, but you've been to El Salvador, right? You you got dark people like me over there, right? Panama and all of that? Right. You Mexico, they got they got dark skin, so we're all the same people, man. Read that scripture. Yeah. It's uh, Revelation 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Right, we're in poverty. But the ones that, that, that claim to be Jews, they're not in poverty. No, I, I agree with you. They own that everything, part. right? I do, I do. I've been, I've been actually studying that, that part. Uh-huh. But uh, so you guys are more like keeping the law or what, what is it? Say it again. What's the, what's the difference between like, like what American Christianity believe in? Well, you? Christianity is nothing but lies. They say that God loves everybody. First of all, they push, they push the, the, the white image on you. They push the Caesar. It's, the real, it's really an uh, image of Caesar Borgia. Huh? Oh, here? Oh, oh, where? Where? 
This is really how the Lord looks according to the Bible. Revelation, the first chapter. Okay, it's okay if you want to come closer. This is really how the Lord looks. Okay? Yeah. Now, that's not a knock against your skin color. We're just telling you, because he's from the tribe of Judah. He'll be considered yeah. an African-American today. Right. A Negro. And I think that they were like sent to every, every, everywhere, right? Say it again? I, I don't think like the actual people in Israel are the real. Hell no. Yeah. We're going to finish the scripture. No, I agree. I agree with Another that. lie. What is your stand up as far as like the sacrifice of, of Joshua, right? Yeah, I was shy. Yeah, or Christ. Uh, right, Christ, okay, Christ, the Messiah, right? the Messiah, the Messiah, yeah. 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 So what do you stand? you think like we're under grace or under the law? We're under grace, we're under grace. Uh -huh. But we have to keep the law too. Yeah. But let's finish the scripture, we'll answer your question. Go okay. ahead. It says, I know thy works and tribulation right? and poverty, right? but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews right? and are not. See, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not. Go ahead. But are the synagogue of Satan. They're the, they're the synagogue of Satan. Okay, and that's why the world is so wicked. Because Job 9 24 says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the so called white man, according to the Bible, he's Esau. You ever heard of Esau? Yeah. That's, that's the so called white man. But we're Jacob. That's us. See, they don't want to tell you that. Okay? But let's get let's get back to your question. You said, ask it again? Like, uh, oh, give me Romans 3 31. The sacrifice of Christ. We're in the grave. That, that was for everybody, right? No, 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 no. Only for us. The sacrifice of Christ. Only for us. Alright, because the truth. Let's get this with the scripture. That's right. Romans 3 and 31. Do we have the Jews as well? Yeah, yeah. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. Right, because we're under grace. But that doesn't mean that we're not to keep the Lord's law. Oh, I agree. Right, because the Lord said what? He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. So although we're under grace, we are to keep the Lord's law. But we all sin every day. Though. Yeah, we sin on it every day. Right. But that's why we need the Lord to come back. Right. So we could be taken out of the vile flesh. Yeah. Because sin is, sin is, is, is uh, we're inher inherently uh, sinful in his flesh. Yeah. Okay, the scripture says, if, if we say that, the scripture says, Yep, the scripture said if we don't sin that we, we, we're liars, yes. right? So we sin, but we ask for forgiveness. But we don't willfully sin. I'm not out there having sex with nobody's wife. I'm not getting tattoos. I'm not murdering nobody, you know? But if, what if someone did though, right? Like that's why the sacrifice of our Lord, that's, yeah. why, that's why he keeps it. Yeah. To me, it's like for everyone. That's what the Bible says. But when you say everyone, who are you talking about? Well, it says like for he, so he loved the world. But the, you know that world I'm talking about? Like you have a world of basketball, right? Mm -hmm. You have sea world. So you have different worlds. The world is talking about is us. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm writing you a letter, what's your name? Uh, William. William. If I start the letter, dear William. Now every time I address you in the letter, do I have to say to William, to William, to William? Or am I just talking to you? I don't have to keep addressing you every time I'm speaking to you, right? So that's how the book is. But yes, look, like I, I'm with you as far as like keeping the commandments. As, that's what we're trying to do, right? Being sacrificed, sacrificed until the way we die, right? That's that's the whole thing here. Yeah. But but God is a merciful God too. Like it doesn't to, matter to these people to, who who like, who came out of Egypt when Moses, the Lord sent Moses. Who came out of who? Did, who did he deliver out of Egypt? Yeah, I mean Israel, right? Like, right now, all the kings in the Bible, who are they from? The Israelites, the Lord's disciples, they were all Israelites. The Lord was the Israelite. Well, what about the Gentiles? Though? Give me Romans. The Gentiles that you're talking about are Israelite foreigners. Mm -hmm. so right. The Israelite foreigners. So they're not necessarily. No, the they're from right? the sea. Give me Romans 9. We're going to read you, we're going to read you the scriptures, man. Hey, right, the matter of fact, give me Acts 5th chapter first. Go ahead, Acts. Right. Hey, the Lord said, because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, because the Lord only gave the law, statutes, and commandments to this people, yes. okay? Since we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, he said he was going to scatter us amongst to the, the Gentiles. Amongst the, amongst the Gentiles, the, the original, other the other nations. So that means like through the seed line, like if your father went and got with a Chinese woman, okay? And then the baby kind of looked Chinese and then that baby gets, his son gets with another Chinese woman and he looks more Chinese and so forth and so on. The seed belongs to Israel, but the look belongs to the other nation. Yeah. You understand that? It's all about the seed. 
man. It's all about the seed. The Most High only deals with this nation. He don't, he don't deal with any other nation, okay? Even though they might look like the other nations, the seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? Right. Those are the father of the promises, That's okay? Right. And he only promised the kingdom of heaven to us. He, we're, we're his only children. The other, yep. the other nations, he, he considers them to be spit. Okay. That's in the scripture. That's okay, in the so scripture. I mean, like I, I, I agree what you. I don't agree what you're saying. I mean, I mean like. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I understand like yeah. your point of view, but I don't agree with that. Okay, okay. hold on, hold on. Let's read the Bible. Acts five four. Acts five where it says, "Man, what about Romans?" Acts five and thirty. Man. Mm -hmm. I got it. Acts five and thirty. And the God of our fathers raised up a Jesus. You can say Jesus, right? Jesus. God of our fathers raised up Jesus, right? Go ahead. Whom he slew and hanged on a tree, right? Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. You see that? You hear that? Read it again. <clears throat> this is Peter talking. You know what Peter is, right? Yeah. Yeah. The head yeah. disciple, though. Go ahead. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince. Right? The Lord is a prince, right? The prince of peace. Go ahead. And the savior. And the savior. For to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance to Israel. So only Israel can repent of their sins. Because only Israel was given the laws. Go ahead. And forgiveness of sins. So only Israel has the forgiveness of sins. That's why the Lord got on the cross. Okay, he was a sacrifice for the nation of Israel. You see? I mean, like, I, I understand what you're saying, but I think like we're saying to faith to yeah, everyone to faith. who believes. No, not, everyone. Not everyone who keeps the commandment, but everyone who believes in the sacrifice of Christ. I agree. Right? I agree. So that could but be only Israelites. No, no. Okay, look. Only Israelites believe. The white man don't believe in, 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 in the Bible. The white man doesn't believe no. in the Bible. I believe in born again believers, right? Like I, I've seen people change lives. What does born again mean? What do you mean by that? By what the Bible says. Yeah, Everybody but what does it mean? What it, me, does it mean to be dipped in some water? Is no. What, what does it mean? It's a change of life. A change of life, be, right? Because they believe in okay. the sacrifices, right? It doesn't matter what race they are. It, it matters race. because... And, and, I'm, and, and I, I agree with you that I think that the real Israelites, I believe that. I agree with you. But it's like everyone have a chance we'll keep keep reading reading the hey, do you agree with the bible yeah that's why i'm reading the scriptures go ahead so psalms 147 and 19 he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgment unto israel okay he hath not dealt so with any nation the lord never dealt with no other nation the lord always fought for the nation of israel against the nation right yeah no am i right or wrong paul, paul actually mentions that that he went to the Israelites that didn't know there was Israelites. Like, you don't know you're an Israelite, bro. You grew up thinking you were El Salvadorian, bro. But El Salvador means the Savior, right? Yeah. The Savior is for the Israelites. Right. Go ahead. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Right, they don't know. That. See these guys right here? Look at them. You really think they believe in the Bible? They worship Satan, man. That's why they wear all black. They believe in the old. They, 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 they no, they believe they, in the Talmud. They believe in the Talmud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what you're saying, like, like anyone that believes in the in the gospel, right? Yeah, the Israelites. Can't be saved. Israelites. That's what Let's I read Romans that. nine. Come on, Romans nine. Listen up, Listen up brother. Listen up. This is Romans nine and four. It says, "Who are the Israel no, from no. the top, bro?" No, no. Romans nine and one. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. This is Paul. Remember, he's writing to the Romans. Israelites that lived in Rome. The book of Ephesians is to the Israelites that lived in, uh, how do you say that? Uh, Ephesus. Okay, Corinth, Greece. He wrote those letters, Paul wrote those letters to the Israelites in Greece, in Corinth. These are all Israelites, bro. Okay, so what about what the Lord says, like going to all the world? Give me that, give me that, give me that, Matthew 28. Go ahead. Remember, I just told you that the Lord said he was going to scatter us into yeah, the whole yeah. four corners. In order for the word to be preached to all of us, he had to go into all the world where we were scattered. Right. And our okay. people are still scattered today. Hey, and one more thing, bro. You said uh, born again. 
order to be born again, all right? This is not this. You have to forget everything that you think you know. Yes. You have to think because you have been taught in the Christian world. You've been taught lies. Which, which they changed the narrative of the Bible. They changed the color of the Lord to being a so-called white man. That's not the color of the Lord. That's white supremacy. That's white supremacy. So you have to you have to clear your mind so you can get this understanding. But if you, you don't, if you don't, you will never get to understand. Uh, look, 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 guys, I'm all about truth, right? Like, believe me. Yeah. Like, that's that's why I that's why I understand that part. Yeah. Okay. But see, like, I think God, what I'm saying, the Lord, right? Like, He wants. It, he's a merciful God, right? Yeah. Anyone that repents and believes. Israelites, Israelites yeah. only, though. Okay. That's the thing that you're not. You're. Let's read the scripture. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. What I call for? Okay. Matthew. Matthew 28. But let's read this Romans 9. Okay. Read it with power. Romans 9 and 1. It says, I see the truth in Yahweh shine. I like not. You know, you could say, you know, you no. call words. I see the truth in Christ. I like not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit, right? That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ, from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So Paul was from what tribe? Paul, uh, Benjamin, right? Yeah. From what, what nation? What nation? Benjamin, I don't know. You see Benjamin right here, right? Yeah. From the nation of Israel, bro. Yeah. So when he says his kinsmen, we got that part again. Yeah. It says, for I could wish myself for a curse for Christ, for my brethren, my kids, my brethren, my kinsmen, go ahead. According to, the, according to the flesh. So he's talking about the Israelites, okay. Who are Israelites, who are Israelites. Remember, he's writing this to the, to the Israelites in Rome. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom pertaineth the adoption? Being the Lord, being that sacrifice, like you mentioned. Yeah. That's the adoption. He adopted us back to the Father, right? Go ahead. And the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. Uh-huh. And service of the Most High. Uh-huh. And the promises. So all this pertains to the Israelites, bro. Paul's breaking it down to you. Why would he be saying this? If he was writing to another nation, and what other nations? When you read, you ever read Romans of the, the, the I mean Revelation, the seventh chapter? Yes. Yeah, what is it, what is it talking Bible about? Bible there, you know, Doesn't it mention twelve thousand from each tribe? Yeah. Yeah. Forty-four thousand. Right? So where's the other nations at? Well, they're all scattered, right? That's what you're saying. And I, no, no, no. We are scattered. Give me that, give me that curse, man. Give me that curse, because we. Remember we was in the wilderness for four years. We got the laws. And we we made a covenant. We made a promise that we will keep the laws. So and remember the Lord said, if you listen to me, you'll be blessed. But if you don't, you'll be cursed. So a part of that cursing is us being scattered throughout the nation. Because we're from the land of Israel, bro. Yeah. You're not from El Salvador, bro. It's not you brought you man, it's so much history you gotta know. So go ahead, bro. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now this is a cursing. Give me uh, the 15th verse. This is a curse, bro. Okay? Yeah. We've been exiled. We were banned from our land. Yes. Yeah. And we were we were brought over here to serve captivity, bro. Yeah. You're in you're in slavery right now, bro. And that's why we're the, all, all our countries are in poverty. I understand. That's, that's why. And but you know you know who to blame? Well, that, that's what I, I'm trying. You know who to blame? That's what I'm trying to tell you, right? Like, who do you blame? The, the, like, look, look, like Jesus, right? Jesus Christ. Okay. He came here. He didn't come here to, to eradicate the social problem. He came here to to eradicate the heart problem. Because it's a heart I know problem. I'm not just saying. I'm not just saying. Right? Like, you were, we're you not bitter. Believe, I'm saying, like, my my myself. Okay. Here, right. So it's not about like who's to blame. It's, it's more about like the internal life. Okay, right? but. Now, if I speak against what happened to how, how did how did the Negroes get into slavery? So-called white man brought them up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did, how did the so-called I mean how did the so-called Negroes get over here? Through slavery ships, right? Through who? The so-called white man. Who conquered the, the, the natives and the indigenous people of this region? This man, the so-called white man, right? So we can't ignore that. I you can't ignore that, bro. But look, look what, what I'm who, who, like, who has the best? Who has the best of the best in this world? No. So-called white people. Who's at the bottom of this world? The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
You think that's by coincidence, bro? I understand what you're saying. But that's a that. heavenly curse on us, bro. I know. Read the curse, bro. Listen up, William. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments right? and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right? that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses came upon us and they overtook us, bro. Right. You know, that's why a lot of us grow up with no fathers. A lot of us, a lot of our people are in prison, bro. Yes. A lot of our, our people are caught up in games and killing each other. That's all because of the curses of Deuteronomy. The Lord put us on us. Put it on us. Go ahead to the 64th verse. It says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, right? From the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, right? Even wood and stone. So over here we was lost. Give me that, that scripture, Matthew uh, 20, uh, what is it? 15? Lost sheep at the house of Israel. And the scripture said that he would scatter us among the people, the other nations. It didn't say that we were going to become the other nations. We were scattered among them. So it's going to be a come a time where the Lord is going to come back and, and regather us yeah. from among them. Yeah. And they will be their race. They will be the so-called Chinese. They will be the Arabs. They will be the Africans. They will be all themselves. And we will, we will be our nation. Okay? The Lord, like trying to put it into you that the Lord don't deal with no other nation, okay? No other nation but Israel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we, have to, we have to leave, but, but I just want to say one last thing, right? Like, what Jesus said, right? He didn't come here. What did he say? Jesus, right? The Lord, yes. right? He said, going to the gospel. He didn't say go free. We just told you why he I understand. I understand. to go like, to all the other nations. I understand. But listen to this. No, read this one. Right? Hold on. Matthew chapter 15. Because the Lord ain't gonna come, he ain't gonna contradict himself. I know. Go ahead. Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. That's the whole reason why he came, bro. To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's talking about you and I, bro. That ain't talking well, about the white I'm man. Saying, what I'm saying, bro, is like, we need to be that's what changed my life. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But you're talking about religion. You're talking about religion. No, We're not like, talking about religion. Tell people about the sacrifice of Christ on the cross that you're saved by faith. You understand that, bro? We're not speaking against faith at all. And that, that's why. That's why I was changed. Okay. And that's why I preach to people. You know? But now you have to. You have to learn. You have a lot more learning to do, bro. You have to know that but you're Israelite. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What all saved right. me? What? That's what this is my, in my heart. That's what in the Bible, right? Like what changes people's hearts is the gospel, the sacrifice of God, the resurrection. Your heart ain't fully changed, bro. You still shaving your face, right? You shave your mustache today? Yeah. Okay. You know that's against the Bible, right? Yeah, and the commandment. Okay. Oh, well, we have to, to establish. You guys, like, huh? All the commandments. No, 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 no. no. We don't, we're not but well, you can tell me that, but you can lie, though, right? You can lie in your mind. No, the so, scriptures say we have to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So I'm not going to go get a tattoo, bro. That's, that's against the Bible. I'm not going to shave my face. Did, though? Why did someone did? Are then they, they, then they they're, sin, they're willfully sinning. So. They're willfully sinning, bro. But what if they, they did it? You know? God came here, Jesus. To but when, when, when the Lord will help people, what do you say? Sin no more. Sin no more. I want him to ask for that. Yeah. Go that way and sin no more. So if you know not to shave your face, don't do it no more, bro. That's why we need to live in the spirit. That's what Paul said, right? So we don't. Uh, so you eat pork? Yeah. But you know, it's a Bible. It's a law in the Bible that says don't eat pork, but right? Paul says if you eat or not eat, you do it not to offend other. But people. what did what did the Lord say? If you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. So what's up, bro? Which I mean, one are you gonna do? <laughs> I understand. Give me uh, Sirach 15, the last verse. <laughs> hurry up! Hurry up! Hold on, bro. Sirach 15, last verse. Because. Peter said, we rather obey the Most High rather than men, right? Yeah. Hurry up, man. Rock 15 and 20. He has commanded no man to do wickedly. He has commanded no man to do wickedly. Go ahead. Neither hath he given any man license to sin. He has given no man license to sin. He has given no one permission to sin. So, the Lord doesn't want you to break his laws. I don't give a damn what they say in them churches. The Spirit of the Lord is not in them churches, bro. They're not in 
the, the night in the churches. I know you grew up in a certain way. We all did, bro. I didn't grow up there. I went there four years ago when I okay. changed my life. Well, you need to stop going there, bro. Look, look, what I'm saying is like, no one's gonna stop sinning until they die. So does that mean willfully sin? No, but which, which sins are you gonna commit? You can't you gotta, just pick and choose. Of course not, bro. Of course, bro. So but that's what I'm saying. We're not perfect in this flesh. Exactly. So if you try to tell people to keep the commandments, give me Romans three again. Gonna do it. What do you well, mean? It's so deeper than the commandments, bro. That's why the sacrifice. It's deeper than the commandments. It's about faith. We're gonna disagree, but we have to leave though. But I, right, I, bro, like, I understand right. that part. You're an Israelite, bro, and I, the Lord is only coming to save Israelites. Hey, if you say you love the Lord, he said, if you love me, the brother just said it, keep my commandments. I'm all for it. And it's and it's one of the commandments is you're not you're not supposed to shave your face like that. So you saying you love the Lord, you say you've been saved. Okay, so okay. one of the commandments said do not lie. Don't yeah, we don't lie. Don't we don't we lie. lie. Why we lie? Oh, okay. Excuse me, say a, a lie don't, is a foul the man. Don't think, don't see a man, uh, a woman with lust. He says that like, like you we no, no, uh, the whole uh, a married woman, a married woman. There's nothing, to, there's nothing wrong with lusting. Lusting is a desire. Right. Okay, there's nothing so wrong with that. telling me is like we, we can't like not break any commandment. No, we're it's trying not, not to, happen. bro. We're trying not okay, to, bro. Okay, so but you can't pick and choose which one. Give me Romans 3 again, man. That's what I'm Hold trying on. to tell you. Hold Romans, Romans 3, 3. 31. Do we then make void the law through do we, faith? Do we make void the law through faith? Because we keep the, because we believe, we believe. Does that that's mean why not to keep the law? That's why hold on, hold on. Sanctified. Read again. There's New Testament for you too. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. We establish the law. So we keep the law, bro. We have to keep the law. The law is gonna get you right with the Lord. Okay, because the Lord ain't gonna deal with nobody that's sinning. That makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. What but I'm you're focusing on the fact that we're not perfect. We are, we know, we know that, bro. Okay. But does that mean not keep the law? No. So you need to That's stop eating pork. You need to stop eating right pork, right bro. All the problems that we have. You breaking the law as well. Stop eating the pork. Stop it. Stop eating shrimp and crab and all that sure. shit, man. Yeah. Stop it, bro. Because that's something that that you get that you could do. You can stop eating. It. Yeah. You're defiling yeah. your body, bro. It's unclean. But all the food that we're eating, man, like we could be, if we're honest, right? It, it has like some. It's contaminated. It's all defiled. Yeah, so th that's what I'm saying. We're leaving the face. And we try to keep you gotta, the You got a block on you, dog. You got a yeah. block on you, dog. Hey, let, let, let me let, just give you this one real quick. It's, uh, hey, can you read this for me? Read uh, 2nd Ezra's, uh, yeah. 2nd Ezra 6 and 53. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creepy things. Mm -hmm. And after thee, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all, we all come from Adam. Go ahead. And the people whom thou hast chosen. And the people whom thou hast chosen. Right here, go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. The Most High made this world for our sake. For the Israelites. The Israelites. Okay. And you're an Israelite, bro. Go ahead. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. As for the other people which also come of Adam. Everybody come of Adam. Go ahead. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are nothing. What? But be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. Spit. Go ahead. And hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So all of them gathered together, the Lord considers them as a drop. So you carry some water that fell fell on the ground. Oh, okay, me. listen what it said. It so said, see, you're arguing mean? with the scripture. Okay, right. and what that's, say? What no, no, you say? Let me ask you this. Uh, oh, what you say? Question. Yeah. How, how do you know who to preach? The, the Lord told us to preach to the Israelites. But how do you know? We're like the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But we're all mixed, bro. Yeah, but it's according you know? to the spirit. It's, we're spiritual, bro. Like, I can go there and say, I'm going to preach to them, but not to them. Give me Matthew 10 and 5, man. Give me Matthew 10 and 5. Chair. Hey, look, bro. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Like, I can't... I yeah, can't. but you're talking to spiritual men, bro. Okay? So the Spirit of the Lord is on us. Mm -hmm. So we know the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are Israelites. And then we also know that some of our people look like the heathen. The heathen being the so-called white man, the Asian people, right. so on and so and on. So that's why I preach to everybody. That's no, bro. You, 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 well, we are here, right? Know, right? We are here, though, right? Yeah. We do a something, though, right? Go ahead. It's a uh, book of Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 doubt Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, 
Go not in the way of the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. What about that verse, bro? I'm Go not, not into the way of the Gentiles. I'm Go ahead. Go ahead. Stay away from that. Go ahead. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Read that again. It says, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's what the Lord said, bro. Go gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel, bro. So well, once again, we're out here telling our people who they are and what the Lord is about to do. See, the yeah. churches don't tell you what the Lord is about to do, bro. I agree on the martial law. I believe me. I know that, bro. Uh, All right. Yeah. So what's about to happen? Uh, it's going to be bad. But what's about to happen according to the Bible? Bible prophecy. What's about to happen? Well, Revelation, I can't. I mean... I mean, See, you, you don't know, you don't know. I'm sorry more of that, but it's gonna come like a tribulation period where Exactly. Yeah. See, you don't know. You don't know, bro. But it's gonna be bad, bro. So that's why I know okay. where I'm going. You know? So you think you really think the Lord coming back to save people? You really believe that shit? I'm not about rage, bro. I'm just here. Well for... the Lord is. The Lord is. Well, I'm here to preach because you Give me Deuteronomy like, 7 and 6. You're saying that some people like they look at them, right? That's what you're saying, but you don't know who. So we're supposed to preach to everybody. Nah, you trying to make your point, but your point ain't valid, bro. Go we're ahead. Do, 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 we have to leave, but uh, right, last me. verse. Do Robbie seven six. Cause you're an Israelite, bro. Right. Thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The word holy means separate, man. We're a separate people. Just like your children are separate from your neighbor's children. You give your you give their children certain laws to abide by, right? You have children. Thy God have chosen me to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read that again, bro. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen me. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Special people unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people. Above all people. We're, bro, we're the best people on earth. Now, you can't deny that, bro. If I ask you your, your favorite sports star, you gonna name me an Israelite, bro. I'm with you in all of that. Okay. Just, so what you worried about these other nations for? <laughs> That's what's wrong with our people. No. And Look, you don't I'm know that the Lord. You don't know that the Lord's about to kill a bunch of our people, man. You don't know yeah. that. He's not about to save everybody like he did in Egypt. He's about to slaughter the majority of our people, bro. Now if you keep loving these goddamn Edomites, these so-called white people, you're gonna be slaughtered too. I'm here, like, look, I'm preaching to my family, bro. Like, I'm trying to get my family on this, you know? You're like stuck, that. bro. You're stuck. That's what I I'm saying. You're I, stuck. I, I, Go ahead. So, Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. You see, it's all about the children of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt, right. saying, right? You only have I known okay. of all the families of the earth. Look at that. You They're, only have I known of all the nations of the earth. The Bible keeps saying it over and over, bro, but you, yeah. you can only think of the scripture. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's talking about Israelites, bro. He was, God. if you go to John the third chapter, he's speaking to Israelites. He ain't speaking to everybody. We'll have to leave, but thanks for your time. Like, I really appreciate it. You know? No more, no more. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can I ask you what the word, you say you go and preach the gospel, what does the word gospel mean? The, what, the sacrifice of Christ in the cross. The no, what does the word gospel mean? Um, good news, bro. Okay, it means well, good news. So right. why would you have to preach good news to the other nations? They no, already I, they already no, have good, they no, have, no, let, let me tell they're you, in their goodness I'm, I'm right now. Good news to the poor, to the sick. So those people are preaching the good news, and I don't know, I can pick and choose who. So I preach to everybody. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. Do you know that the Lord is going to put the so-called white man in slavery? Have you heard that ever? Look, I don't want to get into that. You don't, re but, but you don't want revenge on the so-called white man? I don't want revenge. What, what Christ said, he said, if you come and hit you on here, you put the other one. That's talking about, about your brother. That's talking about the Israelites, bro. But fact, like, I thank you for your time. I believe the me. white man is your enemy, man. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. That's his master. Yeah. <laughs> he's his master. You, you, see know, how, you see how people are, are, people are, are sick, man. What, what are they called? Oedipus? No, no. Uh, what is, what's that? Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome. Okay. That's a, that's a classic example right there. That's a fucking disease, man. Yeah, man. He is, he is, he is laden with it, man. It's all over him. He didn't get past that, man. He don't want to get saved unless his oppressor gets saved, man. Yeah, man.
Go ahead. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation and then that trouble you. See how people have been beat down so much that they, they don't want nobody else to experience slavery. Amen. But no, that's not how it works. What goes around comes around. Right. I got a preset. Okay? These fucking Edomites got to go in slavery, man. And then after that, they're going to be eradicated. Your screen is off, Fox. It's off? <laughs> Go ahead on your scripture, bro. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hold on, I'll read a little slower. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hold on, I'll read a little slower. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Everybody knows that the so called white man is responsible for enslaving the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. That's not a goddamn mystery, man. Okay, that's history. Not a mystery, but history. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So the Bible said it clear. Actually, the words of Yahweh were shot. He that live in the captivity shall go in the captivity, man. Yeah. That's how you balance that, that, that judgment out. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right. And we know that the so-called white man, just like Christopher Columbus said, right? I want it to be known that I never put down my sword, not even a second. He, he was proclaiming that. So he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right, go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right, this is what we're basically waiting on, man. Okay? And we have faith. We have faith that's gonna happen. Because here it is, the ones that the Lord loved, he put them in slavery. So how about the one, you think the Lord not gonna put the ones he hate in slavery? They gonna catch a bad one, man. See, but that's why people gotta die. But it's good to say, he that, uh, he that, uh, hand, give me that one. Hand, join with hand, give me that one. Get your precept, huh? Give me that, that hand, join hand. It's, uh, the precept is pretty much going into, uh, the Lord, man, he didn't come to die for everyone. Yeah. It says, uh, John 7, 17 and 9, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. So Look even it. within our own people, He's, he's only come here to pray for the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. Mm -hmm. That's who he's looking out for. That's who he died for. Yeah. And ultimately, you know, on this go round. You see a terrorist, bro? I saw a yellow one. And this guy came by to save, you know, save from what? Okay. He think, he think he's he think he's something righteous because he wants to save everybody, man. Okay. He think he's somebody. See, he but that's he's that, doing the work, the, the will of the Most High, man. That's that Christianity bullshit, man. Exactly. Many more are going to perish than them that are actually saved. Exactly. That's that Christianity bullshit, that love, love spirit. Here it is. They push love to you, Jakes. But they hate you in every fucking way. Every way. Okay? They build a society upon hate. Okay? So don't talk to us about no goddamn love. Go ahead. Proverbs 11 and 21. Go hand joining hand. Go hand joining hand, man. He want to hold hand with the devil, man. Right. Go ahead. The wicked shall not be unpunished. So you're going to have to die with him. There's another one. There's another one like that. You go, they go, our people are going to die with this, this goddamn Edomite, yeah. man. Because yeah. you love your fucking master. You know? See, but you know how Northern Kingdom is about that goddamn Caesar, man. Mm -hmm. And all those goddamn sinks and all of that. So, he's programmed through white supremacy, man. Because you really think the Lord, when you think of the Lord, you, when you think of Jesus Christ, Amen. you think of fucking Caesar Borgia, man. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking of how the Lord really looked, man. You know? So a lot of our people got to die. A lot of our people got to die. Because they love their oppressor, man. Yep. He want to he talk about he, he's up on martial law and... What's about to happen? But when I asked him about Bible prophecy, he didn't know what the fuck to say. But who's gonna bring it? Who's exactly. gonna bring martial law? Who's gonna be the one killing, killing these people out in the street? Exactly. Give me that. Give me that scripture. Right? Revelation 12 and 12. Because that's that's, that's what it's gonna take. That's what it's gonna take for you goddamn tribes to snap out of your goddamn uh, uh, that zombie spirit, man. Then you are gonna see. Oh shit! They were right. No, the Bible is right. The Lord is right. Go ahead. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Right, and we're rejoicing, man. 
we're rejoicing when these things begin to really roll out, man. All right, because we know we're that much closer to the kingdom, man. We're that much closer to the return of our Lord. Go ahead. Woe to the habits of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, and the devil is talking about the so-called white man, if you don't know. Yeah. Okay? Because what did Yahweh say? He said, you are your father, you are of your father the devil. Yeah. Okay? He mentioned that he was, give me that eight, uh, Romans, uh, John 8, 44. Okay? So soon, the Lord is going to put the spirit on this devil to go all out. To come down with great wrath. Why? Because he knows that he had but a short time. He's seeing all the prophecies come to pass. He's yeah. seeing all the men of the Lord around the earth. He's seeing them ships out there in space. Okay? He knows Yahweh is coming back. And this is a warning that we're giving you against the devil coming down unto you with that great wrath. A dude like him is going to open his arms up to the devil coming. Oh, look, they coming. They got guns, but... You know, they coming to save us. No, they coming to, to purge your ass. He don't know that the, the, he don't know that the Esau will kill you in a second, man. I'm talking about the average Edomites. Yeah. They will kill your ass in a fucking second. And you want to save them. But they don't want to save you. They don't want you next to them. Go ahead. John 8 and 44. Ye are of your fathers the devil. And the lust of your fathers will he do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Right, so he was a murderer, a murderer from the beginning. The murderer from the beginning is talking about Cain. Okay, he was the first murderer. And Cain came back as who? Esau, man. And that same spirit, give me that one, stay my brother Jacob, give me that scripture. The same spirit that's in Cain is in Esau, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Go ahead. Like Genesis 27. Our people are so blind, bro. They, 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 the Lord did it. That's why they got to die. You got to die. You got to die. You got to die, man. All the scriptures that came out speaking about Esau, is, I mean, the Most High only deals with Israel, and he couldn't get it. Hey, let him go. And a thousand more could have came out. Yep. If, when uh, when the Lord was taking our people through the wilderness, one thing that he warned them about, you know, them, one thing that he warned his people about the land that he was going to give them, is he told them to kick out all the other nations yep. that were there, unless they become a fair unto you. Yep. If you go to the book of Judges, our people didn't do that, man. Our people didn't kick out all the heathens. And therefore, it became a fair unto them, man. You know, these nations are always... Snare on, onto our people, just like today. Our people still want, still want to save these other nations, man. But these other nations don't give a fuck about them. These other nations look down on them, man. Hey, that scripture, he knows it in his spirit. He fucking knows it. He's trying to do right. And hey, that scripture we just read, you know, the father of the devil. Let's see how we try calling Esau the so called white man, the yeah. damn devil in yeah. that time. Yeah. You know, telling our people, you just like the damn devil. I yeah. got it. Genesis 27 and 41. And Esau hated Jacob. Man, look, the devil's hate you, man. When the fuck you gonna wake up to that, man? And we gotta say it raw like that. Yeah. Give back. a goddamn. If you offended, watch something else, man. Go watch one of these fucking Christian churches, man. We ain't out here to appease your feelings, man. Okay? These goddamn white people hate you, man. Goddamn. With a perfect hatred. With a perfect, with a perfect hatred. hatred. What oh. more are you guys see? I guess it's gonna be when the Lord allow them to fuck you up. Yep. Go ahead, I. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing where was his father blessed him. Right, he envious. But here it is, he gave up the blessing. Yeah. I mean the birthright. You gave it up willingly, motherfucker. You got some planet. But it's all in the spirit. Go ahead. And Esau said in his heart, hey, he's, what, did, what did Esau say? What would this birthright do for me? Right. You didn't see the value in it, my man. I'm about to die. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see the value in it. So you know he's king. You know he has a nonchalant, I don't give a crap attitude. Cause what a king. He's got an evil spirit. What a king say? Uh, I don't. I don't know where my brother is. Am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. You know, he has a nonchalant attitude about it, man. He wasn't remorseful about killing his own brother. Yeah. That's Esau. 
That's why in the John, no compassion. Yeah, that's why in John he says he's the father of life, man. You know he can't tell the truth, man. The truth is not in him. That's right. Go ahead. The days of mourning of my father are, are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. See that? And they've been on a mission to slay you ever since. Yeah. Okay, and they slay our people in all type of ways, man. You know, a lot of mental attacks on your ass. Mm -hmm. They shoot at the perfect in secret, man. Yeah. You know? So a new video just came out. They, they allow Edomite men to donate to abortion, to, to, to help with abortion of black babies, so-called black babies. They give money to the women to help abortion. Yeah, of course. Oh, Edomites yeah, yeah. are happy about that, you know? Planned Parenthood. Yeah, but yeah. the face of that was who? Margaret Sanger. Eugenics program. Her, she said, we don't want the word to get out that we want to exterminate the Negro population, man. Yep. You know? Yep. But here it is. Where they put where do they put the Planned Parenthood? In the ghetto. Why? Because they want to murder you damn Israelites, man. Yep. You how, know? How is it how is it that they out there protesting, okay, to be able to murder somebody? Right. Yep. Out there protesting, jumping okay. up and down because they don't have the right to murder, okay? Talking out there about, crying, pulling their damn hair out. Yeah, talking about uh, it's, 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 it's a woman's choice. Yeah, my body. Well, she shouldn't be bouncing on dick then. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, if you don't want a baby, don't bounce on no dick. Yeah, okay? That's just an excuse for them to be hoes and not yeah, have man. pay the consequences for it. They don't gotta worry about having a child. That's why a lot of you fucking women gotta die too, man. Yeah. Right. A lot of you women gonna die in these last days, man. Woo! I can't wait for the Lord to just open up on you people, man. Cause you're a bunch of you a bunch of useless fucking eaters, man. Yep. You and, know? And wicked against the most high. Because our people know better, because it's already in our people. Yep. Know better. Yep. Because if you're born of that seed, it's already in you. Yeah. Okay? What the word uh Ecclesiastes means to draw out. Yep. Okay, it's already in you not to do wickedness. Okay? But you go forth no, with not. it. You go through yep. with it. So it's going to be a good day when the Lord have your ass there going through some bullshit and bringing all that bullshit you done done, bring it back to your mind. That's what I do. He, 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 uh, he couldn't accept it, man. I got so. Play it out. The Lord got a block. The Lord wants that dude to get fucked up. Right? right there in front of this fucking woman. He found out today that he really don't know the Bible. Right. Yeah. She was taking pictures, though. She was more interested. That's good. Yeah. Hopefully they fucking... The Lord open their eyes. Go ahead. Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, Go and tell the people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Right. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Right. You see us out here. You see the, You see certain things. You hear certain things. But you ain't got the, You ain't got it, man. You ain't got it. You ain't got the juice to put two and two together to really understand it. That's why I told him, You got a block on you, man. Yeah. You know? You got a block unto you, but the scripture say it's uh, playing it to the holy and, and stumbling blocks to the wicked, man. Yeah. That's a stumbling block on them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's to everybody. Yeah. Go and preach to all the nations. We told you, dumbass, that the, the, the Israelites are scattered. But he ain't hearing that. He don't want to hear that. But the Lord ain't going to hear you. Go ahead. Make the heart of the people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Right, and the Lord don't want to convert you and heal you. The Lord don't want you to be healed, like we were talking about when we opened up. Healed through this word. Yeah. The Lord don't want you to find rest for your souls. Jump to our Romans 11, man. 11 and 7. You know? Because our people got a, a a deep spirit of slumber on you, man. So, Book of Romans 11 and 7. Add 2 Thessalonians 2. Like around like 10, 11. Go ahead. It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right, because they have the spirit to search out, to seek out things, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they know that there's a God out there, but they don't know exactly who he is, man. Go ahead. But the election hath obtained See, it. See, but the election knows, man. They're going to hear the word and understand it. Yeah, like the scripture say, blessed are your eyes 
Because they see. Yeah, yeah. your ears because they see. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like the brothers going into, man. Only the alike, the one and the one third, but given the understanding. The spirit uh -huh. of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh To understand this. Yep. Read it again. Yeah. It says, uh, Romans 9 and the... Uh, nine, 7. 11 and 7. It says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right? The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right? But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right. The rest were blinded. Here it is. He was jumping over the fact that he's an Israelite. And want to save the so-called white man. Yeah. But what about the fact that you're an Israelite, bro? You know how great that is? You know what I'm saying? He had no, it had no value in his mind. None. You know? Yeah, this is a goddamn shame, bro. No, but what about the white man, though? I know I'm an Israelite. I got that. I got that. But what about these other nations, though? Nah, you know, man. that has oppressed me, nah. you know, stumped on my neck, you nah. know, that I love still. Right. Nah, man, it don't work like that. Fuck. You don't even want revenge on these goddamn Edomites. Alright? Our people are fine with reparations. They're, they're fine with forgive and forget. But they don't want to forgive their own people. Why you always want handouts from the devil, man? What about what the Lord want to give you? Right. The Lord want to give you the world. What about that, man? The Lord, the Lord said, the Heavenly Father said, the only begotten Son. Huh. To get on that cross, and you want to extend it to these fucking nations, man? Right. What's wrong with you niggas, man? They were made to you be have more our servants, servants bro, man. Okay? And, and when we were under there, when we were under being service to them, like we all are, okay? They don't have no capacity to talk about the Lord going to come back and he's going to save everybody. He's going he to, uh, what other nation ever said that, that the Lord's going to come back and take us out of the nation? Hell no. What other nation said that there's going to be some salvation for the Israelites? So that say, they tell you that you're cursed exactly. with, dark, with dark skin. Exactly. Yeah. They tell you that's manifest destiny for them, to, for them to kill you and to rule over you. With Come vigor. on, man. Sure. They put up their images, man. Yep. Yeah. Right. We're supposed to be angry about it. Who's up here sitting that you're not supposed to be bitter? Right. You're just warm and bitter. That's not true. But he's trying to make it seem like since we're not perfect that we can sin. No, sin. that's not what the scriptures say, man. It, the scriptures tell you not to use your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness, right. man. Right, man. No. We're, we're to keep it. We read it two times. Yeah. We're to establish the law. But he ain't hearing that. Because what is, how do you, how, how do you prove your faith? You prove your faith through your works. Your works. Right. Part of your works is not just going out here, but also yeah. keeping the laws to the right. best of your ability, man. Before you doing, a, before you teaching, you keeping the laws. Yep. That's like the, that's, that's getting you in good graces with the Lord. Yep. That's taking you out of the world. You know? Faith without works is dead. Okay. This motherfucker eating pork. Shit, you have all you know all this information, but yeah, you eating pork. You putting right. pork in your body? You ain't researched that? Oh, no, no. come on, person. man! I used to watch Monster the Titan, and uh, uh, he do have some terrible ter parasites, and uh, uh, he got a eating pork. And ever since I watched, like, you know, I'm gonna stop eating pork. So. There, there's a reason why that's written in the law. Yeah. You know why I the Lord told it. us not to eat that? I never liked it before the truth, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm we should get baked. I used to always get my bacon away, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I ain't never won any That shit's not going to I never had it, but I never had it. Yeah. Crab, lobster, shrimp, none of that shit. Ignore that. Yeah, about the pig, yeah. That shit is disgusting. There's a reason why the Lord said that. You know, in the lot, not to eat it. That's right. That shit is unclean. It's supposed to be parasite. That's right, bro. They eat anything, even their own piglets, if it die, would die. Man. That's yeah. why the mob, they used to, they used to, uh, don't dead, give dead bodies to the, to the pigs, man. Get rid you. of bodies. Yeah, don't don't be friends with a man who has a pig farm. Yep. Yeah, don't be friends with that dude. Get rid of your body quick. Quick. Okay. Yeah, man. And when you cook the food, them parasites don't die. Oh, uh, you yeah. just got to cook it, cook it over 500 degrees. No, man. There's a reason why Jake suffers from arthritis, inflammation, blood uh, circulation. Yeah. All that is because of the fucking ugly animal meat. And they make it the cheapest cheapest meat you can oh, purchase. Yeah, yeah the ground oh, yeah. natural resource. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For a fucking oh, yeah. reason, man. Yeah. Yep. That shit's still a dollar forty nine a pound. Other meats is like seven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Eight dollars. Oh, Prices go up. Right. 
But that's important. It's like going down. But you see, okay. you see what I, you see what our people hold on to. It's that, it's that hard. It's, it's so hard for them to drop port. Yep. It's so hard for them to stop shaving their goddamn face. Damn, man, our people are stubborn as fuck. That's, it. that's what I'm saying. The things that we can do, right. that's what the Lord wants us to stop doing. Exactly. Right. You know? But he he want to jump over that. Go ahead, all right? Finish that up. Yeah. It's back in Romans 11 and 8. According as it is written, the Mosai has given them the spirit of slumber. Look at that, man. Our people, give me the word slumber, bro. Uh, and, and them all, them all Go ahead. It says, eyes that they should not see, uh -huh. and ears that they should not hear, uh -huh. until this day. Until this day, man. What's today? The 7th, May 7th. Mm -hmm. Our people are still asleep, man. 2022. Yeah. 2022, man. You're going to turn up all this information out here, all this truth out here. Yeah. Our people are still asleep. Hey. Our people are still eating pork. Still gonna, they're going to be asleep all the time. way to the end, bro. <laughs> Hey. I mean, although we know it, it's still like, God damn. Oh, yeah. Hey, your eyes and your yeah. ears, you, you have inner eyes. Like when you go to sleep, you can see still, mm -hmm. and you can hear still. Mm -hmm. and, and those are the, that's, that's your spiritual eyes and mm -hmm. spiritual ears. You should be able to, to grasp, the, grasp the, the, the word of the Lord with those spiritual ears. Mm -hmm. But they have those, and they, the Lord blocked that. Oh, see, but he stuck under that, 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 that church shit. Yeah. In the church, they say you can do anything you want. Yeah. Oh, we're saved by grace. Yeah, we, we don't have to grace. keep the laws no more. Right. That's not, that's not what the Bible say, man. Well, go ahead, get that word slumber. Ain't if there's anything juicy in there, bro. I got it. We got to doze, light sleep. Say it again. To doze. To doze. Our people are. They dozed off. Yeah. The scriptures speak about the congregation of the dead. Oh, what is it I think it's a drill. Oh, no, Sound no. the alarm. The sound of the alarm, right? Yeah, Why are people that's news. news? They want to continue right. to stay it's sleeping. News, oh, man, I didn't want to wake up, man. Yeah. I want to yeah. stay asleep. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Light sleep. It'll be light sleep. Uh, yeah, that's what it's sleep. And it's going to say, let us not sleep. That's good this, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, for this now it's a high time to wake up. That's right, bro. Yeah. Get that scripture, man. All these scriptures. Go ahead. A natural and periodic state of rest during which consciousness of the world is suspended. Right, so our people are fucking dead, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's sleep, you know? You don't know what the fuck going on. You don't know what the hell Esau Edom is doing against you, man. You don't know what the, what part of the movie you in. What they say in the world? He's slipping? Yeah. He's slipping? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. He drunk that, he drunk that Jesus. Now he's through. Okay. Now he's through. Now he's he drunk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get that one where it says they stagger and, and uh they stagger off strong feet. Not with strong feet. Not, but not with strong feet. Get that one. So go ahead, go ahead. It's on Romans 11 and 9. It says, And David saith, Let their table be made a snare and a trap. Look at that. Like, go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you just saw it from that good man. You know, he believes that the whole world can be saved. That he came for everybody. Yeah. There's this truth, man. It's a snare to him. Yeah. You know, he, he's, he's trapped up. He's not able to receive the understanding. Yep, yeah. it's a snare. It's a stumbling block. Go ahead. It says, man, and let there be ta let their table be made a snare and they trap. Look at our goofy-ass people, man. Our people are goofy as hell, man. I can't wait for it. Do you have it? I'm shit. How about you? Do you have it? Go ahead. It says, it says and they stumbling block. And the recompense unto them, let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back away. Let their eyes be darkened. Alright, now let's get to that idea. Isaiah chapter 29. Go all of me off that bone. In verse 9, and it says, Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They are drunken, but not with wine. Go ahead. They stagger, but not with strong You know how a drunk person staggers, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our yeah. people, our yes, people's sir. spirits are you staggering, man. Yep. Yeah. You, you, you through. Stagger to the left, stagger to the right. Oh. You know? <laughs> You're struggling to stay up. Yeah. You're struggling not to fall. There's but more. ultimately, you're going to fall. There's yeah. more stress than you have, but you don't want it. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. That hand is too black. I need a white hair saving me. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, yeah. So, so, that's true, man. It's that covering cast, man, that Jesus shoot. Yeah. They really believe that. They believe the white man's ice is colder. They believe you see the book here. It's the true salvation, you know? Yeah. That covering cast. The most high stuff in the end of all that. Yeah, read it again. It says, stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. Right. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Right. For the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, had ye covered. Right, and this is what Paul was quoting. Yeah. The Lord put a deep sleep on your eyes, man. For you not to understand this word. But we know who is going to understand it. Give me Revelation, the 14th chapter. Revelation from the top. We know who is going to understand this word. Uh, Revelation, you know, stronger out. Uh, yeah. Uh, Revelation 14 and 1. It says, And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. Right, who's, who's that lamb? Uh? Yahushat. Yahushat. What's the scripture that you think of concerning uh, him being a lamb? Oh, uh. Hey. Grab it, grab it. Uh. How do you prove that he's a lamb? Uh? The sacrificial to. something, uh, because they, me, they uh, quoted him as a... We John the first chapter, uh, mm -hmm. you know. See, I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, uh, I have to... Come on, brother, you got to know how to prove it, huh? We're going to prove it right now. Get John. John 1 and 29, or 28. It says, these things were done in Bethbara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptized. The next day, John seeth Yahweh Shai. Now, this is John the Baptist, which was actually Yahweh Shai's cousin, six months older than Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. The next day, John seeth Yahweh Shai coming unto him and says, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Right. The Lamb of, of the Most High, which taketh away the sins of Israel, man. The world of Israel, man. You know? So. The lamb representing what? Being that sacrifice, bro. Give me Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. Not one scripture came to your mind, Ox? Concerning the lamb? Come on, Ox. Let's go. I know. Isaiah chapter 53. You gotta do a little more studying, brother. Uh, oh. Yeah, like a, uh, it starts yeah. top. Yeah. Yep. This is Isaiah 53 and verse 1. Who have believed our report? And to whom is yeah, the But that's why we out here though, you know? This is why we, we teach the scriptures. Hey, it was taught to us. Yeah. It was freely given to us. So we freely given it away, you know? Go ahead. And it said, who had believed our report? Right, who was destined to believe this report? The elect. Go ahead. To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of the dry ground. This is this chapter is dealing with Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. This is the chapter that the Ethiopian eunuch was reading. That Philip had to break down to him. Go ahead. That dry ground is this way. Yep, go ahead. He had no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. Right, and you can read about that in the New Testament. This is prophecy. All right, Yahweh came out as himself, and he was rejected. You can read that, John the first chapter. Give me that real quick, bro. John the first chapter. How they rejected him. Hold that real quick, bro. John 1 and, and 9, it says that that was the, John 1 and 9, that was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. You see that? His own, his own received him not. Because they talking about, is it, isn't this the carpet or something? Right. 
Yeah, because they knew him from the birth, you know? Yeah. They, they saw him going up. up. Yeah, man. Just, just like how uh, you come into the shoe and you came to you tell your yep. family, your family does not want to accept it. Yep. Your family uh, making this clock and doesn't want to believe because they know you, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, I know you used to do this shit. Ain't nothing special about you. Yeah. <laughs> See, but his parents do. Right. And he had two of his brothers that were in the truth. Two of the disciples were his brothers. Go ahead, I. And it says, verse three again, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. Right, a man of sorrow, you know? And that's what we deal with sorrow. Yeah. Okay, a man acquainted with grief. Yeah. Tell me we ain't acquainted with grief. Right. You know? See that increase in knowledge, increase in grief. Increase of sorrow. Sorrow. Go ahead. And we had, we hid as it were our faces from him. Yeah. He was despised and we esteemed him not. So he was despised. Go ahead. Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of Yahweh and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity, and the chastisement of our peace of, was upon him. And with his stripes are we healed. Yeah, with his stripes we are healed, man. Yeah. So he was that, that sacrificial lamb, Ox. Well, you gotta get into it. that, bro. I, oh, Come on, man. Every time, you do, every time you do that, I go home and I have to. Like, oh, I was black and have to do that to the kid. Go type in lamb when you get home. Uh, and read, read the precepts and link it up. And, Another good one is Genesis, the uh, 22nd chapter, man. When he was back as Isaac, you know, the Lord told that Abraham to sacrifice his son. And that was going into the future prophecy. Of yeah, Abraham, because Isaac asked, Lord, what's you know, he said, he asked his father, what's the sacrifice? Yeah, he right. said, so the Lord will provide one. Yeah. But that's just a spiritual clue. Yeah. But you can read the book of Hebrews, it goes into how his sacrifice was better than, you know, the sacrifices that we used to have to do in the ancient days. Yeah. You know, because it's gonna clear your conscience, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, 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 perfect your spirit, so to speak. But, uh, let's go back to where we was at, where we was at. What, what led us there? John, John 1 again. John 1 and Revelation 14. Nah, John 1, 49, and then, uh, Revelation, uh, 14 and 1. Go ahead. John 1 and 29, it says, The next day John seeth Yahweh Shai, seeth Yahweh Shai, coming unto him, and said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, which taketh away the sin of the world. Alright, so the Lamb that the, the scripture is speaking of here, in Revelation 14 chapter, Revelation 6 chapter, speaking of Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. Back in Revelation 14 and 1, it says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on, on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Right, give me the end of the that. Because it's the father and the son's name. All right, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shot, man. Okay? He's been chosen from the beginning. Yeah? yeah. 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 Then I saw the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name on their foreheads. See that? Had his name and his father's name. Yeah. All right. Because these are the men that, that will understand. 14 or 2. And they give you Matthew 13. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping in their hearts. Right? Yes. It's supposed to show you that the Lord is coming. He has that voice of God. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, And they sung as it were a new song before the throne before the fourth piece. Right, and the song is what? It's true. That's why I said say we have we have piped unto you. Yeah, not you have not danced, man. Yep. Go ahead. It says and before the fourth piece and the elders 
and no man could learn the song. No man could learn the song. Go ahead. But the 144,000, see, which were redeemed from the earth. You see? Yeah. So these are the ones that are misunderstood. Okay? And the word is going out to everybody, but only that, that the ones that the, the only the ones that, that are of that elect are gonna grasp it and understand it. And it's gonna resonate with. Why? Because they have faith. Give me, give me uh Hebrews 4 and 2. Because the scripture says, faith coming by hearing. Uh, 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 hearing by the word of the Most High, man. Okay? Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 2. Read uh, a little louder. Yeah. Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. Right, everybody's hearing this word, man. Like that dude was so fixed on right. saying this shit. Right. You know, I preach to everybody. Well, everybody's hearing it. The Lord said this gospel should be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Peter says, uh, give answer to every man for the hope that's within you. Right. right. So even if other nation comes and asks, he's supposed to tell them his future, which is what? Slavery. Yeah. Isaiah the 34th chapter says it. Go ahead. It says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. Right. But the world preached it not. So like it. Again. But the word preached did not profit them, right? Not being mixed with faith. You see that? And that's, then that hurt it. That's why that dude jumped over the fact yeah. that he's an Israelite. Right. He don't know that salvation is only only the Israelites are eligible for salvation. That access is only for the Israelites. Yeah. All right. How we try to get on that cross is only for the Israelites. You know? Let's go and preach it to the other nations. It's not to go to preach to the other nations. Salvation. To save Right, save not, that nation. Right, we're not preaching salvation to these other nations. Right. We're preaching Israel to the other nations that the Israelites might come out of those nations. Out of those nations. Man. I mean, we have to also tell the nations what's about to happen to them. Yep. That's that they're about to be judged for what they've done to the Lord's people. Yep. Yeah. Let it be known that yeah, it's going to happen. Right. Uh, jump to uh, Matthew 13. Matthew 13 and 9. Matthew 13 and 9, it says, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them is, it is not given. Read it again. I'll break it down. I'll... Right. It's, it's not given to everyone to understand these mysteries. Because when you go to Amos, the third chapter, it says what? The, the, the secrets are revealed to the to the servants, servants of the prophets, prophets, man. All right, to, to the rest are blinded. That's why the majority, the ones that are not able to receive this word, the ones that are not understand these mysteries, they have been blinded, man. So you can go on all day to try to teach and take the truth. If it's not meant for them, it's not meant for them, man. You know, because we're only fishing for what? For the elect, which are the ones that can understand these mysteries. Okay, the ones that can understand these parables. It says, um, again. Matthew 13 and 9, who has ears to hear, let him hear. And why would the Lord, why does the Lord be saying that? Because everyone's not going to comprehend it. That's why the Lord spoke of parables, man. Go ahead. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the most, kingdom of heaven. Right, it's given unto you, being the prophets, being the men of the Lord. Giving up to you to understand the mysteries. Everything that we was, we we're speaking in the spirit is a mystery, man. You know? Go ahead. But but to them but, but to them it is not given. Right, it's not given. The Lord gave them the spirit of slumber. That's what's given up to them. Why? Because they're gonna be judged. Okay? Now let's jump to that. Yeah. So the Greek word for that word mystery is mysterion. Alright? Meaning hidden things, secret mysteries, genuinely mysteries, secrets confided only to be initiated and the not initiated. the ordinary mortals. The initiated, the initiated. Yeah. Well, what's, what, what's good you got that word? That's from? what that's good. Um, there's one of the in Corinthians. We look up foolish. Uh, the Lord deal with the foolish things in the world. Yeah. Oh, the you go to the root word. That's the same one. Oh, the Syrian. The Syrian. Yep. Yep, Mysterion. Read it again. Yeah. It says, generally mis mysteries, secrets, 
confide it only to the initiated. Look, read it again, Salaki. So, so like I want to hit them words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says generally mysterious, so like a mystery, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. Look at that, man. Yeah. Now let's read this Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. See that? So this thing is hid to certain people, man. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. Okay, a majority of our people are lost out here, man. They rather subscribe to the to Esau Edom ways and the dogma that they learn in the churches uh, uh, opposed to the actual truth. Here it is, the truth is being presented to our people. They don't want it. Well, that shit is crazy, man. See, but we understand it. It's not meant for everybody, man. Hey, truth is precious. Yeah. You can't give something precious to everybody. You gotta give precious things belong to the ones that are gonna keep it and uh, keep it and actually follow that precious. Mm -hmm. That's right, huh? That precious thing, man. And, when, yeah. and you mentioned the word precious, right? What makes something precious? That the fact is, that it's rare. Right. Okay? Because Peter, he opened up his letter speaking of this precious okay. faith. This faith wasn't given to everybody, man. You got some up? Okay. Right. okay. So first Corinthians 2, 14. <laughs> but the natural man receiveth not the things Beautiful of the, scripture. Of the like spirit it. of the Most High. Read it again. I, huh. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of right. the Most High. The natural man is what? The carnal man. Okay? The carnal man is not going to understand what? The, not receive not the things of the spirit of the Most High. Woo! For they are foolishness unto him. Woo! Neither can he know them because they are yes. spiritually yes. discerned. Let's get the NOT on that verse right there. What's that verse on? Uh, 1 Corinthians get that 2 and 10. 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, man. 2 and 14. 2 and 14. Let's see what the NLT says on that. That's a beautiful scripture, huh? So that guy that came up with a natural man. You can't understand the deep things of the Lord. You can't understand the spiritual. You got it? It says, but people who are, are spiritual can't receive these truths. You see? Receive these truths. See? Go ahead. From God's spirit, it all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. <laughs> <laughs> so the one, so telling him that Esau is going to slavery, that Esau can be saved, that sounds foolish to him. All right. He's gonna dismiss it. And to a lot of our people, the fact how the Lord is dark skinned, that's that sounds foolish to, foolish to them. You know? The, the, the MOTB sound foolish to them. Is it like foreigners? Is it like foreigners sound foolish to them? But it's plain to the holy. You know, the scripture said, to the pure are things pure. You know? Hey, he wasn't like that, um, like, um, like the Ethiopian eunuch that Philip came. Yeah. He, you know, he didn't ask, he didn't ask questions. He, he, he thought, he didn't understand. When, when, uh, that Ethiopian eunuch, when he was reading, when he was reading Isaiah, he didn't understand. He said, I need someone to teach me. He wasn't willing to learn. Yeah. All Philip right. asked him, understanding what thou readest? Right. He said, how can I let the man guide me? Mm. You have to be guided in this thing. Anybody that's been born or anybody that's born has to be guided. You got to become a baby. Yep. Like a baby. The you babies gotta, are guided, man. You got to be nurtured. What, what, how do you nurture them? You start with the milk. Yep. So you're able to eat meat. Yep. You grow, you grow, you grow. You're growing constantly every day. You're growing. Yeah. And they reject the milk. Well, therefore you have no nourishment. No. Therefore you, you dry it up. That's one of the main things that you learn when you, you got to speak up, Ock. One of the main things that we learn when we get in truth is mm -hmm. the Lord's name. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's the first thing. I uh, yeah. don't want to accept that. Yeah. yeah. Christ. Like Christ. He's he stuck on that. Oh, oh, what you call it? Yeshua? No, it's Yahweh shot. Yahweh or Yahweh shot. What I call for? I call for the edges, huh? I yeah. The edges. Because this truth is only for the elect, man. Only for the initiated souls, man. Go ahead. To 8 and 62. Yep. Second Ezra 8 and 62. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Look at that. The Lord didn't show all these secrets unto all men. 
But unto you and a few like thee, man. Go ahead. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last time, but at what time thou hast not showed me. Right. It's not for us to know the, the days and the hours and the time that's in the Father's hands. What, what's, what's, what's appointed to us is to keep the faith. That's what's appointed up to us. Alright? You can jump to 12 and 38, huh? Up to Oh, you know what? You can start at 36. Second Esther 12 and 36. Thou only has been met me to know the secret of the highest, right? Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them, and teach them to the wise of the people uh, whose heart, who hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Look at that, man. So we're teaching it to the wise of the people that can comprehend this message, man. You know? Since that dude wants to know who we teach it to. We're teaching everybody, I mean, we're teaching to our people, but only the elect, only the wise are going to comprehend it, man. You know? That brother's got any feet? Go ahead. Oh, that one. Chapter 13, verse 3. Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God, Yahweh. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. That's right. Read again, I'm sorry, huh? Psalms 13 and 3. Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God, Yahweh. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Right, lighten my eyes, man. The Lord got to enlighten you. You know? Give me book 4. Go ahead, you got a precept too? Yeah, this is Acts uh, 28 and... 23 this is when paul was in rome okay it says that when they had appointed him a day there came many to him into his lodging to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of the most high right and the kingdom of the most high is the mystery for a lot of our people all right it says persuading them concerning how shy both out of the law of moses and out of the prophets from morning to evening some believe the things which were spoken, and some did not. Yeah, and, and, and some believe not, just like in this time. Like that. All right, some, you're going to have majority of our people that are not going to believe, but you go, you're going to have those small remnants that some that are still going to believe because it's meant for them to believe. Man. All right? It says, and when they agreed not among themselves, they departed after that Paul had spoken one word, well spake the Holy Spirit by Isaiah, the prophet, unto our fathers. Saying, go unto this people and say, Hear, hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, mm. seeing and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. Mm. For the heart of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and the eyes have they closed, lest they should see with the eyes and hear with the ears and understand with the heart and shall be converted, and I should heal them. You see how they kept, they kept referring back to the prophecies, man. So we're doing the same thing in this time. We refer back to the prophecies. Majority of our people ain't gonna get it. That's prophecy. Majority of our people gonna die. That's prophecy, man. Okay? Yeah, if they couldn't get it when Yahweh Shai was there in the flesh, then they gonna get it now. They said, they said crucify him. Go ahead on that. Uh, Colossians 1 and 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the affliction of Mashiach in my flesh? For his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of Yahweh, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of Yahweh, even the mystery which have been hidden from ages. Right, this has been hidden from ages, man. You know, because we didn't have it at one time. But, Revelation the 11 chapter, Ezekiel the 37 chapter, the breath of life entered into them. Now we got it back. Read again, that last part. And it says, even the mystery which have been... Which is Mysterion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Yeah, now it's made manifest to the saints. 
<laughs> which are the Israelites, but you got the Israelite, you got the Israel of the Most High. Yep. You know, you got the, uh, the scriptures say all, uh, they're not all Israelites who are of Israel, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, all, not all Israel, Israel. You know, Israel. you got the, the, the Israel of the Most High, because the majority of our people are, are spiritual heathens. Yeah, they're Israelites by blood, by seed, but you, your ways are up there heathen. Okay? Yeah. You can tell, like, like my brother, he goes to that spirit of wanting to have dreadlocks. He can have a straight cut, but he always wants to go to that. He's always carnal. He wants to rip people's ears off. It's like, hey, yeah. you think like that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, like, you said, that nigga is lost. Yeah. yeah. I like her right there. Hey, y'all. Uh, I got that book in Yeah. Check it out, right? Yeah. yeah. It's on Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High. Right. And the law that endureth forever. Hold up. I thought we wasn't supposed to keep the law. I thought that didn't matter no more. No, the scripture said the law that endureth forever, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. It says, and the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep it shall come to life. Yeah. That's how you get back into the graces with the Lord, man. Yeah. You got to, you got to, uh, uh. You know, you gotta inline yourself in with the law, the best to the best of your ability. Yeah. Uh, how's it go? Rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. You got to, man. Yeah. Because you know, this right here is true man. Yeah. This is also waking you back up, not not asleep and dead like the others. Right. right. Go ahead. So read that again. Yeah. It says, "This is the book of commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. Right. But such as leave it shall die." Look at that. Die. And majority of our people are spiritually dead. They don't keep the law of the Lord. Go ahead. It says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it, man. Go ahead. Take hold, yeah. Take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Alright? That thou mayest be illuminated. Woo! Yeah. Like the first time mentioned, being enlightened. Then you'll become, you'll, then you'll become enlightened. You'll be illuminated with the light of the Lord, man. You know, and we're all talking, it's all talking spiritually, man. Yeah. Hey, but one day we're going to have that go. Like, uh, what's that, what's that movie, bro? Uh, but, uh, what was it, Bruce Lee Roy? What is that, what was it? Oh, The Last Dragon. The Last Dragon. Yeah, that's an old movie, that's yeah. classic, man. Yeah. He had that glow at the end, you know? <laughs> she was dope. You can already see a small form of it, all right? Yep. So when uh, you see God's man wisdom, make it the uh, man's face shine. Woo! You know, it's being shown, you know, by a little bit right here in this yep. side. All right? Yeah, man. We got the, we got the light, man. Yeah. It says, uh, verse 3, Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. All right, that's what Jake uh, want to do. Yeah, yeah. That's what that motherfucker was trying to do. Yeah. Why bring in all the nations? It wasn't given unto them. Like the brothers going into, man. Nah, man. The Lord is only for us. Yeah. And that's like, that's like the milk right there, you know? Yeah. The Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. That's, I mean, what Bible you read? Everything is addressed to the Israelites. Yeah. Everything. You know? He he knew that, but then he went back to it. Because he don't know it. Hey. Go ahead. Oh, he don't understand. He don't know. Yeah, yeah he's, he's lost. It's Go ahead. Oh Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Right, what pleases to the Lord? Yeah. The laws. How to properly uh, uh, walk in this earth. How to properly serve the Lord. That's made known unto us, man. Give me that one in Deuteronomy. That should be the that wisdom in the sight of the nations. Deuteronomy 4. You know? Go ahead. Deuteronomy. Uh, nah, right there. Oh, no, no. Finish it. It's back in Baruch 4 and uh, we were at 7. No, it's not here. It says about 5. It says, Give and hear my people the memorial of Israel. Alright? No, no, no. Uh, 4 again. Oh, it's coming up. Verse 4. Oh, Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Right. His, uh, his, his laws. Yeah. You know? What, what he wants us to be doing on this earth. Which wasn't given just to anybody. Hell no. The Lord yeah. called Israel his forever lover. Yeah. Fervent lover. F fervent lover. Uh, his what? woman. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Ox. 
Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Keep their four and do, you know, that stuff is fine. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Right. What to do, what not to do, what to eat, what not to eat. You know, what do you do when your woman's on her rag? You know? What do you do with a dead body? You know? Brother, the law is like a manual. It is. It's a manual of life. That's why I say, it is a manual. It is. Even as the Lord, my power, commanded me, hey, there's even a law of rape. What to do when, when you get when a woman's rape? Which a lot, a lot of Jack get emotional and don't yep. want to get into it. Talking about we teach rape. No, we don't, we don't teach rape. It's we ain't advising nobody to rape nobody. Yeah. Go ahead. But it's in the scriptures. Yeah. Come on, and, hey, does not peace all have laws on that? Yeah. Does not society deal with that? Come on, man. We're not just supposed to leave it out there. And it's equal, it says to eat the whole raw. I've hey. met I've met women that have been raped. No, yeah. You know? Hey. So that's the thing. All these people were back in the ancient world, a lot of them. <laughs> they were back in the ancient world, they wouldn't be outside like they are now, man. They wouldn't be walking around with that pussy print out. <laughs> with that ass out, the reason, titties out. There's a reason why you have to be covered up, man. Yeah. You know, even if you were, uh, if you didn't have a man, you still have to cover up, man. Yeah. Yeah. They were raping like crazy. They were raping. Nah, it wasn't. Nah, nah, it was an order. It was an order. It was an order, man. Yeah. Order, man. yeah. Go ahead. That's Because even within that law, man, so that man had to take, you know, about 50 shekels and take care of that woman for the rest of his life. Yeah, you couldn't just rape her and leave her. Nah, you gotta yeah. deal with that woman. That, yeah. That's the order. You're taking her for your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Not like today, where my brother wants to push you real quick. He didn't quit. Yeah, man. That's not, that's not what it is. You know? Nah, fix this, bro. It says, verse 6. It says that ye may, that ye should do. So in the land, whether you go to possess it, keep therefore and do them. Keep therefore and do them. Go ahead. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. See that? That puts us over the nation, yeah. man. Because we know the right ways, the proper ways to, to, to move on this earth, how to navigate on this earth. And they're supposed to look at us and, and, and learn. But our people looking at them to learn. No! That's ass backwards. Go ahead. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. You see? But our people are left off from keeping the laws. Shit, we all left off. We all fell. You know? <coughs> you got something? Get that second left going. The laws make all in the way first. The laws make us walk upright. Yeah. It puts a, it puts a shine on us. And it gets you back with the Lord. Exactly. It's like a tutorage. Go ahead, out me. Precept. No, it's uh, 2 Timothy 3 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for corruption, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture, man. You got words on it, out? So, yeah, just think it's going back to scripture, man. The law, everything. It's all by inspiration of the Most High, for correction, for proof. This is how we learn, this is how we grow. Yeah. That's what he said. It's got light on it. Yep. That's you know. Now get to uh, John 10 real quick. John 10 34 because all the book is the law. If it's written in the Bible, it's, that's that's commandment, man. Straight up. Let's get that real quick. John 10 34. This is John chapter 10, verse 34. John 10 and 34. It says, Yahweh wish I had to them. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Right. Now, Psalms. It's not subject to where the law is, 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 is uh, found. Right. The law is found where? In the first, the first five. five right? Leviticus, you know, Numbers. so on and so on. So, Yahweh Shah is referring to Psalms, because that's Psalm 82 and 6. You're gods. Read again. Yeah. This is Yahweh Shah answered them. It is not written in... Is it not? Is it not written in your law? I said ye are gods. You see? Go ahead. It says, he, if he had called them gods unto, the, unto whom the word of the Most High came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world. Right, so all the book is the law. Yeah. Okay, all of it, man. 
All right. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Woo! And they that do things that please Him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Look at that. And there's another law, I mean, another scripture where it says, Thy law is like a lamp. Says he coming to buy him a book. There you go. Right. right. And the Lord is Himself is the, the word, word of the Most High. That's it. Manifest. No? That's, That's it. it. That's it. Huh? Okay. You need the whole. That's why it's going to say the whole world, right? Yeah. The whole world. Go ahead. Oh yes. Yeah. Proverbs six and twenty three. But the commandment is a lamp, Look and the law is light. Look at that, man. And reproof. Of instructions are the way of life. So the law is a lamp. Man. You know, you turn that lamp on, you're able to see everything. It's a guide, man. That's the light, man. You know, motherfuckers be walking in the dark. With, remember, they had the torch. Yeah, right. And that's how the script. That's how the law is for us. The word. That's how the word is for us. You know. To find your way. Go I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. Thy law. What is it? Thy rap and thy, 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 thy staff, that, that, that comfort me, that comfort me, man, you know, uh, what I call for, Thessalonians, let's go. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. Right, we had a fall away as a nation, man, the scripture say that, Jeremiah 6. Uh, 17 and 4. The Lord discontinued us from our heritage, man. Okay? Read that last part again. The man of sin. That day should not come except they're coming falling away first and that man of sin be revealed. That man of sin is being revealed right now. Being exposed. He saw Edom. That's why society it ain't nothing but sin. You know, they exalt sin in this society, man. Right now, the right now is our uh, pushing shit. That's sin. You know, in Vegas, they call it what? The, the, the sin city. Yes. Yeah. Hey, letting you know come that on, you man. can come here and just do whatever you want to do. And I ain't I never like Vegas, Vegas, bro. You know, what happens in Vegas? Yeah. It stays in Vegas. Yeah. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. But the light of the Most High, the eyes of the Most High, is upon what? The sinful kingdom. Man. Yep. Okay, so I ain't never Lord, like that place. The Lord has his eyes on that place. They think what's, what's, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But the Lord is going to bring it all that's in the darkness and going to come to the light. Man. And that's dealing with this whole fucking place. All the states. Yep. That's all the place of confusion. Yep. But yeah, like I was saying, I ain't never liked that goddamn place. Even as a child, the whole city smell like cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Go ahead. of perdition, the son of destruction, because all this man does is bring death. It's going to say the portal of wickedness. It's going to say destroy him and destroy the earth. The envy of the devil, death came into the world. Yeah. Did you think too long? Is this off? Is yeah. off again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just went off. All the way down to like 13. Yeah. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the most high. Right? This dude wants to play God on earth, right? He has that God complex. That's why he wants to push the MOTB on you. Okay? He wants to be omnipotent, all-powerful, omnipresent, seeing everything, controlling everything. But you're just a man, my man. Go ahead. Or that is worship so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Yep. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know that was told it that he might be revealed in his time. And this is the time of his revealing. Okay, we're, we're, he's been exposed to the spirit of God, y'all by some other shot. The scripture is telling over that, how are the secret things of uh, Esau uh, uh, starting out? Through the spirit and power of the power of y'all by some other man. Your ass is being exposed. Okay? And this is what he's afraid of. He's afraid of the point, the finger being pointed at him in truth. 
that you are of Esau and Edom, according to the Bible. You are that wicked that the scriptures speak of. Okay? That you are not a Jew. You're a fucking heathen. Okay? Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. The Only mystery of iniquity doth already work. Dealing with the Romans. Okay? Go ahead. And this is Roman, this is Rome 2.0. Modern day Rome right here, man. Go ahead. Only he who now let it, let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And who's that? Who's allowing this man to do what he do? Yahweh He set him up. All right, he put him in power. Okay? He established the wicked upon the earth right now. According to prophecy. The scripture say, second out of the six, Esau is the end of the world. Okay, so this has been a plan from the beginning. Okay, because after this last heathen rule, Israel will be uh, forever established on top. Okay? So the Lord will have to go out with a bang. Yep. Put the most wicked motherfucker in power. Go ahead. He said he made all things for himself. Even yeah. the wicked. Even the wicked. For the damn evil. There you go. And this dude, you can't tell me uh, so-called white man ain't the wicked. They not all bad. Well, why, why the hell is the Most High said in Obadiah that every one mm. of the Mount of Esau shall be cut oh. off by slaughter? Woo. Okay, every one. He didn't say it not except except the one that's that <laughs> the good one. Yeah, the good, the good one. one. You know, he didn't say nothing like that. Every one of them. Oh, he created them to be the wicked. Yeah. You guys did go well, Not all white people are bad. I got some good ones. They just, they, 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 just, they, they help me out. Where? Me. Where? It, they call our protests. They, they support the movement of Black Lives Matter. So that's all. It's all blank. traps. Yeah. Right, exactly. See, but our people don't understand that the slithery devil works like that, man. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why he's called the deceiver. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Never trust thy enemy. There you go. Because he'll crouch down. Yeah. He'll humble himself. Yeah. He'll yeah. have them, them sweet words. Yeah, the fake tears. The war is in his tears. heart, man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna say, Ock? No, what you just said right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War is in his heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how he's working to the butt. Yep. War was in his heart. War is in his heart, That's man. That's how he's gonna approach you. That's how he, he's been approaching you. Give me Psalm 14 and 1 real quick. Yeah. Because our people are talking about the good one. Yeah, <laughs> the good one. Go ahead, real quick. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 14. All right, verse 1. It says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Right? And that, and. Joel, what is that, 30? They tell you that they're uh, uh, base men, sons of fools. Yeah. Go ahead. It's, they don't believe in the Most High. Yeah. Go it, ahead. They got that pride about them. It says they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. Right. There is none that do it good. Look at that. Ain't none of them do good. Yeah, exactly. they, they have a cut. Ain't none of them that do it good, man. Yeah. Ain't no good Edomites. Yeah. Like they will say about Gad, right? The only good, the only good Indian is a dead yeah. Indian. Yeah. The only good Edomite is a dead Edomite. That's yeah. right. How about that? The one. Yeah, we're gonna spray raid on you damn roaches, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only good Edomite is a dead Edomite, man. Yeah, cause you 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 ruling elite, man. All right, the disease of this world, man. You're the cause of all these problems. Yeah. Not just the elite. Yeah. Yeah. All these goddamn all these stuff. Yeah, cause you you had your time to rule, man. There was there was a certain time. Where you had our brothers in captivity, man. Where you slaughtered, you know, the new people. We all had captivity, man. Yes. No, but there was some even like before, you know, man. What's, what's up? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. they still doing it. Yeah. Shit, these cops are slain, Jake. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. A lot of shit that, man, these cops are down and dirty, man. That's because they have a perpetual hatred for us, bro. That's it. They yeah. have a perpetual hatred and never left, you know, from back when I, we never left since the garden, man. Since the beginning. Since the beginning, okay? They hate us, and, and rightfully so, they're supposed to hate us. Yeah. Yep. That's our perpetual enemy, man. Yep. You know? Hate them too. I don't want to perfect hate them. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, uh, that's going uh, uh, Take it, that's going is two and eight. Then shall the wicked be revealed, who the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Which is the prophets, man. You either might be being chopped down by this word, man. He's being cut. You know? Being cut, man. Go ahead. 
and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right, Yahweh shall return, man. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. All powers and signs and lying wonders. This is how this man rules. Witchcraft, the scriptures scrip scrip call this place the mistress of witchcraft. Sorceries, all right? This is how this man rules, man. And this is how he's going to see people when they're taking that uh, MOTV. Just like you had them take that juicy juice, you know? Using the witchcraft on the people. High levels of sorcery, man. Go ahead. Because he had perfected that shit. Oh, yeah. You have perfected the left hand. Okay, but guess what? The right hand is stronger than the left hand. Go ahead. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness, and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. Speaking of our people, man. All right, they don't love the truth. <laughs> They haven't received the love of the truth. They like to pick and choose what truths they like. Exactly. You know? But when it comes to your fucking oppression, being enslaved, it's okay, you can walk. <laughs> extra, bro. Extra. When it comes to when it comes to your oppressor being enslaved, you don't like that truth. When it comes to your enemy being a goddamn when it comes to a so-called white man being the devil, you don't like that. Okay? When it comes to uh, the Lord putting the man over the woman, you don't like that. You know? Yeah. Man, oh, over the woman. man, bro, that's one of the most. Man, I love that. You know, the Lord gave us that natural authority over these goddamn women. Hey, oh, but the wicked are in power, you turn everything upside down. And everything upside down. What is what is good is yeah. evil in this world. Yep. You know what is evil, what is, what is evil to the most high is good to this world, man. Yeah. Right, that's the what's the Isaiah 5? Right. Uh, get that real quick. That's what it says. Whoa. Go, go ahead. Isaiah 5. Hey, that's, that's just like uh, that influencer guy, Kevin Samuels, just passed oh, yeah. away. And uh, they on the internet cheering. Yeah. Okay. Because he represented them being in order. Okay. Or just, uh, uh, just telling them about themselves. Telling tell them about themselves. Yeah. Okay. Bringing out the truth. You know, that they, they expect a man to do, do all this and be up here the while they're down here. Yeah, the traditional role. Right. And but they hated the that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they do? Like Cameron Daniels, like Precious Fish. So, they think it's just soft though, yeah. man. All these motherfuckers are soft. Just, if you ain't coming out the scripts the right way, you soft. Right. Yeah. Yep. You compromise somewhere. Because I heard Cameron Daniels talking about taking another man bitch. Oh, see? That's Hell yeah, bro. I, I heard he was down low. I don't know how shit that is. That nigga was filming uh, yeah. as hell, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, shit, who the fuck is this nigga, you know? Hey, but the fact of what I was bringing it out was because the women were cheering, the women was cheering because he was dead, okay? Because, only, only a fucking nigga woman. Right. Man. Why? Because they don't want to be in order, man. They don't want to be reproved. They don't want to be reproved while he talks shit about black women. You need shit talked about you. Because you're the most uh, 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 disgusting, disgusting, right. disgusting, all of these most destroyed people yep. on the earth. And he told them the truth, like, all these women want a rich, top man, but for them to be, have a rich, top man, they gotta come down as a woman, be a feminine, be a mother, and he was correcting them on that. <laughs> they hate it, they hate it, they hate, they hate trying to get out your way. Yeah, you know why he did it. Oh, I wish I had spiritual power. Throw that motherfucker. Yeah, I'll throw him across. See that, see that mountain over there? Yeah. Throw <laughs> that over there. Right now. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, bro. You know, you know you're flying. That's what Siren exploded his head. Like, a lot of that sound go up in his head. Explode his brain. Man, bro. Get that Siren right by his ear and just turn that shit off. Yeah. yeah. I brought that on the book of Yeah. It's uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, woe unto them that call evil good. It's a world called evil good, man. Yep. All right? A fucking man laying with a man is not good. Lesbianism is not good. Okay? Uh, 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 feminism is not good. Okay? Go ahead. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. 
That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Right, that's this whole fucking world. That's why the scripture said the whole earth fly from wickedness, man. You know? But it's because the so-called white man is in power. The scripture said when the evil were multiplied, transgressions, uh, 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 Oh yeah, that's right. Or when the wicked in power transgressions multiply upon the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like when uh, Alexander got his ass, or uh, the four the four generals after him, you know? Yeah. He was multiplied in the earth. Go ahead. Says, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah, it's That's why I part of coming into the truth is you get pissed the fuck off. Yeah, that that's <laughs> You get angry, like, oh, hell no. You feel bamboozled. Yep. You know? You have been. You have been. Ever, ever since I came into the truth, when I was in high school, all I did was walk around with a mad face. Yeah, let's keep say, uh, impression makes a wise man mad. mad. I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't do no, that. No, I'm putting it on. Do not disturb me. Is that going to have the internet on still? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you do that every week? Yeah, I do, yeah. Go ahead. That was it on that. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Sorry. Verse 10. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, right? That they might be saved. Like that guy. That they might be saved. Okay? He didn't receive the love of the truth. Nah. What do you say from? Yeah, yeah. you actually that question hasn't even come yet. Right. Martial law is not here right now. See, but the Christians they teach that uh, rapture is going to be taken away. You're not going to have to endure that. No, that's not what you say, man. You know, all going to be tested. All going to be tried. Everybody yeah. going to be tried. Yeah. The whole world. See, right, to see what manner of uh, person you are. You are. Yeah. You, you, you stumble. Everybody's going to go through it, so that's a false doctrine that they're teaching. That's it. You know, which the whole Christianity is false doctrine, man. Right. Facts. Okay. Big facts. For those people. Go ahead. Verse 11. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they, they should believe a lie, man. Our people believe a lie. You know? We got to get a strong delusion. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe in lie. That they should believe a lie. It's like you know you do, you under strong delusion. But this whole fucking system is a lie. But yeah, you trusted in it, man. And Most High is the one I put them in that uh, system. Right. You believe in these lies. Right. That's the one way the Lord making the heart fat so they cannot see the truth. Right. And that's a strong delusion to believe in, you know, Jesus, and then all of a sudden, in the end, you can just say the name in your face. <laughs> right. Like, what? It don't work like that. Yeah, no. you can, you can, just, the law is done away with. Remember, the law is done away yeah, with. Yeah. You don't have to keep the laws, uh -huh. so you can sin all the way to the end, and then just call Jesus, and then everything that you've done is going to be wiped away, and you're going to get taken up, you know, within the rapture. They don't understand the scriptures, man. Right? They don't understand the most high. Yeah. The most high, he creates good and he creates evil. Yeah. He said, what it say? Uh, as it was his pleasure to do you good, yeah. so would it be his pleasure to do you evil, man. Yeah. Okay? The scriptures also say that both mercy and wrath, they come from him. Yeah. So you can't just pick and choose one lost and other. Right. Yeah, they don't even know. They don't even, they're not even afraid of the Lord. Yeah. They don't have no fear. Yeah. That's why I need to shave this much. How you gonna have a beard with a shave this much? Right. What the fuck is that, dog? What the fuck you want, man? I said, do you have a beard or you don't? Yeah. What are you, Amish? Yeah. This woman Amish probably, this woman probably, probably told me to shave it because when she kissed him. I don't like the beard and hair yeah. on your face like that. Oh, you know, he, he, you know his woman run him. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Yeah. See how, yeah. like, she humbled yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, no, I can tell. I mean, that's, it's probably like, I mean, that's, that's Northern Kingdom like a motherfucker. Yeah, All up under that fucking woman, man. It yeah. is probably, uh, it's all the shit. I probably want to go to the I want to go to the fourth. What do you know it, bro? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to break the law right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all, uh, yeah, they celebrate Mother's Day if they earn you. They probably went to dinner. Oh, 
Uh, see, that's that uh, Queen of Heaven spirit. That Queen of Heaven spirit, yes. See, but the thing is, they don't celebrate Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. Bro, they don't celebrate yeah. Father's Day. I don't even know what the fuck Father's Day is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like the most fucked up month. That's like the most fucked up month. And, and two, it's like... Pride, Pride month. Pride. They, uh, they, they, they don't push Father's Day like it's if you got to be Special they don't do shit for Father's Day. Exactly. A neck, they advertise neckties. See your father necktie, he'll be okay. What? <laughs> In a state. That's but it. If you, don't, if you don't do nothing for that mother on Mother's and Day, you're you the that? worst person. You're the worst huh? person that, that was breathing. What? Mother's Day. That's May. tomorrow. That's tomorrow. So called. Yeah, Lord it's tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now I gotta. It's tomorrow, yeah, it's tomorrow. I believe so. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. I've been hearing about it. Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to say it. I got to fake it with my mom. Because if I don't say it, she's going to... Now you ain't got to say it. I wouldn't say it. Goddamn yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm like, you You know what I'm about. Yeah, my yeah. Say, I'm too mean. What you going to say? Happy Mother's Day, Ock? Hell no, bro. Fuck that shit. She said her happy Mother's Day was happy when she became a mother. That was yeah, it. That was the only happy Mother's Day. It, it shouldn't just be one day, though. Like, that's the thing. Every day. It should, should, every day should be on yeah. yeah. Every day. Exactly. Yeah. That's the scripture. Yeah. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days, you know, may be long yeah. upon the earth. I never, celebra I never celebrated Mother's Day in my life. <laughs> I never celebrated. Uh, who was that? That's fine. Oh, was that? Y'all had something? You had something? Uh, one more verse. Oh, two more verses. It says that they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Well, our people, they're unrighteous, but they have pleasure in that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like that fucking faggot that just walked by. That was a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looking like a fucking woman, man. You got pleasure in that shit, man. Yeah. You got demons on you, man. Yeah. You know? Just like the guy who shaved his mustache, you know, you ask him, did you shave today? He's like, yeah, you know you're not supposed to shave, right? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, if you know, well, why are you doing it? Okay, because of grace. <laughs> we don't have to keep the law no more. Why would you not want to keep the laws of the Most High? That's a contradiction. Okay. You love him, but you don't want to keep his way. This is the ways of the Most High. This is the way he wants you to act. This is what he wants you to do. This is the way he wants you to look. See, but we brought that scripture. He's giving no man life. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. No man. No matter who the, fuck you, who the fuck you are. You ain't supposed to be sinning, man. And yeah, we sin. You know, we ain't perfect. But we ain't out here willfully sinning. Right. We can get too quick as habits that we drop. You can come to the truth. Stop yep. you for it. And throw your beard out. Stop getting line up. Yeah. Quick as, you know uh, what I'm saying? Quick as sins that you drop. Stop you know? uh, committing idolatry. You know? Mm -hmm. Those are easy things. Oh, easy things, man. Easy. Easy. Stop smoking. Yeah. yeah. I was an advocate for that lineup, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, woo! I oh, man, I had to have a crispy one every week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know? But well, yeah. I, I didn't know it was in the Bible. I didn't know that. I know you couldn't get a lot. You know, I didn't know a lot, man. Yeah. I didn't know shit, actually. Yeah. The only thing you hear about is like 94. Right. Hey, but the scripture say, when I was a child, I speak as a child. Right. But when I became a man, I, I put, put away a child of things. Man. That's right, bro. Okay? Because the, the uh, eating pork, shaving your, you know, those things you did in your, in your child, yeah. not being a child, not knowing the truth. Okay. Not fearing the Lord. Not fearing the Lord. Okay? Yeah. But I now remember, yeah. that you've grown up, and you've grown in the fear of the Lord, those things should be easy for you to do. Yeah, I remember uh, wanting to get all my whole body, body tattoos. Not my whole body, but I remember getting, wanting to get a lot of tattoos, man. Yeah. The fucking Gentile fit of mine. Yeah. Thank the Lord I didn't get none. Yeah, the Lord saved from that. Yeah, bro. Because yeah. uh, the brother was going into our people, they take pleasure in sin. Yeah. All right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4. Verse 22. That's right. It says, For my people is foolish. Our people are foolish as hell, man. Go ahead. It says, They have not known me. They are sottish children. Our people don't know the most high. Yeah. You know, that's why the scripture says they have zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. Yeah. Yeah. They try to they try to uh, establish their own righteousness. Yeah, right. 
they seek after the, uh, the so-called these devils, the so-called white men. Yeah, they go according to what the Esau standards. Right, yeah. they're enemies. Yeah. Like he has morale. This nigga ain't got no morale, man. None. This yeah. nigga is a demon, man. Yeah. They have this saying, God is good. Oh, God. What's the answer? Oh, oh, God. God. There you go. <laughs> but that is not true. Yeah. Okay? Didn't the scripture say I created evil and good? Okay. okay. How the Lord do all these things? Okay. Read again. Yeah. This is for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. Right, they have none understanding, man. You don't understand what's going on. You know? You don't have no understanding on, on the most high. Go ahead. Like you were just reading earlier, man, it wasn't given unto you. It says they are wise to do evil. Right, what's evil? Uh, everything against the most high cause, man. Yeah, eating swine, adultery, smoking that weed, idolatry. Yep. Idolatry, yeah. Uh, Follow after the white man. Yeah. Your wife to do all these things. Uh, submitting yourself to a fucking woman. Yeah. That's evil, man. Yeah. Go ahead. It says they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right, you don't know the first step in pleasing the most high. Yeah. You know, but a nigga tell you all about adultery or how to sell some weed, yeah. or how to sell some crap, or how to yeah. murder somebody. You niggas is wise when it comes to eat, being evil. Yeah. Or how to, how to worship Caesar. Yeah. yeah. God damn. Like a model type of thing. Yeah, kind of thing. I'm ready for babies and women, man. God damn, man. I'm ready to be free, boy. Shit. God damn. Got my popcorn. God damn. She was pretty, boy. That was that like brown, brown. God damn. I like them slim, man. Huh? Oh yeah, she's banging. She knows she's banging though. She ain't gonna give us no time of the day. <laughs> can get the name out the bed. Now, standing around cameras with books on. Uh, nah. She had that long hair too? Yeah, that long hair. God damn. Woo! You know she smell good. Is she excited? Shit. Lips soft in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah 44 and 10. They are not humbled even unto this day. Neither have they feared nor walk in my law. Yeah, my neither have they fear. Man, our people don't have fear of the Lord, man. You think slavery will humble our people and, and the things that Esau has done to them, they'll know. That's why the Lord said, why would I why would I stricken them anymore? You know? Our people can get more rebellious and more rebellious as time goes. But the Lord got something for that ass. Yep. He got something that's going to straighten all that out. <laughs> yep. We got to get it. I like that one. Jeremiah 44 and 10. They are not humbled they're, even for this day. They're not humbled, man. Our people ain't humbled out here, man. You know, you can't tell our people nothing. They think they got to figure it out. But they keep running into that fucking wall. Yep. How you got to figure it out? But you keep running into the fucking wall. It says, neither have they feared, nor walk in my law, nor in my statutes that I have set before you right. and before your fathers. Right, the scripture says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's the first step of being accepted by the Lord, man. But our people ain't got no fear. So the Lord going to have to put the fear in you. You should know by you should know after death by fear and what is it? You know it after death by, by pain. pain. By pain. Bro, you know what's crazy? He said he knows about one's love. Mm -hmm. That means it's a conspiracy and all of that. Yeah, but that's the truth. Yeah. Like, you should fear, like, you know that's coming. What should you do to save yourself from it? So he's he's going to be raptured. No, he's saved. He's saved. He's saved. He's good. 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 He's He's saving everybody. <laughs> he's not like us, you right. know, up here racist and stuff, you know. He's not up here being a racist. He loves everybody. Right. So he's, uh, of course, that's that's the will of God for, for, for us to love everybody. Right. You know. And I just got to do that day to lose faith in the most You know, yeah. curse the most 
Oh yeah, you know he's oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. He's already juiced. I watched this, uh, uh, this one movie store and it's called it was on Amazon. It was like a like an old movie though. It was, it was it had it had to do with Judgment Day. All hell was breaking loose, martial arts was declared. Uh, it was uh you know neighbors fighting each other. He had this one guy, this one guy and his family, he had to move out of his house and go in the woods. And this guy was like, Why why is this happening? Why would God allow this? He got his gun, he saw Curse the most time, start shooting up in the air. Because like, he didn't understand, man. Yeah. Hey, we you can know, get have people like that. You can have people lose their faith. Yeah. That 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 wholeheartedly had faith. You know, wholeheartedly believed in the most high. You know, when before, when everything was normal, when everything turns into shampoos. See, but they're believing in the wrong guy. Right. That's, yeah. the, that's the thing. Like the scripture says, we know who we worship. Okay? And we know who the control of it. That's what the scripture says. Uh, they're not fear of the Lord, understand all things. Yeah. yeah. Evil, uh, read that, get that one. Evil man, man understood. Job understood judgment. And then, uh, when he was going through uh, his, his uh, wrath from the Most High, he told his wife, shouldn't we receive evil and good, and good from the Most High? Yeah. Okay? And we understand yeah. that now. Alright? Yeah. This is all the scripture. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is a scripture. Right. This is a scripture that the brother was quoting. You're deprived, boy. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm deprived. Yeah. That's like a homeless, homeless person looking into a window of a food, uh, a food fucking restaurant, you know, a restaurant. When people eat, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Forgive me, I'm homeless. I'm hungry right now. But the day is coming where we ain't gonna be deprived. Yeah, you did. Last thing on your mind gonna be some box. Yep. Yeah, let's go and support this galaxy. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna desire us. Yeah. Okay. Because the roles have been reversed. You know, we desiring women. What the hell are we desiring women for? Yeah, we, we've been brought low, bro. Low, low. We've been brought low. I even be looking at older women sometimes. I'm like, God damn, I'm nasty, man. I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> Like right now, I'm looking at it. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> man, I need some, some loving on this motherfucker. God damn. Lord, please come back. Get us out of this shit, God damn. Man. <laughs> Go ahead, I. It's uh, Proverbs 28 and 5. It says, Evil men understand not judgment. Right, when the Lord begins to judge this place, we'll get a. Uh, What's that, Isaiah 11? No, Isaiah 13 and 11. Oh, okay. But the Lord, the Lord's gonna judge this place for all this evil. Yeah. But when it, when it begins to happen, the, these people ain't gonna understand it. Hey, in the book of Amos, does it not say that, that there was uh, evil in the city and the, the Lord, Lord has not, not done, done it? it? Right. So that all comes from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He's the one that sanctions it. Go ahead. It says, evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all, all things. things. So we're gonna understand it. We're gonna keep things in perspective when we see uh, 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 dead yeah. Israelites everywhere, man. Women getting raped. We're gonna be like, that's the judgment of the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah. women getting raped. What are you doing? screams and shit. He kept it, he kept he kept it pushing. We're we, we, we gonna be Captain Saber Hole. No, yeah. man. We're not. Oh, you're talking about the movies? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. We're gonna keep it going, man. Keep it pushing. Yeah. 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 You know, we're gonna be like that king. Like, if I can't, if the most I can't, we're gonna make you think I can. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're gonna have people begging for help, man. You got people pleading out, help me, help me. What am I, fucking doctor? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Lord yeah. may put the spirit on you to laugh at them. And then, and then use you to say, you did this thing, remember you did that? Remember you laughed at the Lord? Remember you laughed at the prophets? Now you want help? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> laugh at you now, man. Yeah. Scripture says the most uh, laugh at you. their calamities, man. Yeah. How you feel the Lord's gonna laugh? To us, to his men. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Get that uh, Isaiah, you got it? Yeah, 13 and 10, it said, no, 11. Isaiah 13 and 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. You see, the Lord gonna punish this place, man. He gonna punish your tribe. You gonna get the bulk of it, you know? You gonna get because the, the script said it. Jacob's trouble. Yeah. The Lord is angry at you, but the heathen is doing what they supposed to be doing. Yeah. But what are you doing? God is all love. Like that song, uh, that move, bitch. But yeah. that's the word. Remember, mystical yeah. like what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, the Lord concerned with what you doing. Yeah. <laughs> and now is the time to repent, man. Yeah, because you're gonna be judged. 
by your word, by your word. The scripture say your own sins shall accuse you in that day, man. Yeah. Go ahead. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the accuracy of the pride to cease uh -huh. and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And our people hot as hell. Yeah. Especially you women. I got to preach You're the most hottest thing. What do you think about that? Uh, second, second Ezra 8? Yeah. yeah. The second Ezra 8 and 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Let's get that word misery. Because they have walked in great pride. Right. Many, the Lord is bringing many great miseries in these last days. Let's give a study of that. Timothy, perilous times shall come. It's gonna get real bad out here, man. Let's get the yeah, words can't even real. explain it, man. No, 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 no. The words can't explain how really bad it's really gonna get, man. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. You gotta take that into consideration when Daniel wrote what he saw in uh, oh, yeah, Daniel 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. one yeah. time like no other. Yeah. And Jeremiah, he saw Jacob's trouble. That's why he said, Alas, that day is great, and none is like it. it. These were visions that the prophet saw. Yep. That's why Ezra said, that uh, woe, woe is me, is woe is me. Let's get that. Who's gonna deliver me in those okay. days? Because it's gonna be so bad. Yeah. But you know who's gonna deliver you? Your house busting outside. If you're chosen. Right, yeah. and that's if you're up your left, man. That's if you're chosen to be saved. Because it says the second age is the ninth chapter. Many more are gonna perish than them that are actually saved, man. Yeah. Because what's coming, when Ezekiel saw in, in Ezekiel 9, he, he asked the Lord, are you gonna kill up all the rest of Israel? Because it's gonna be that bad. Think about that, man. Gonna be that bad. A lot of Jacob dying. The Jacob thought he's gonna get rid of all of Israel because a lot of people are going. A lot of our people are going to die. It says in Zechariah 13 today, yep. two thirds of our people are gonna die in that land. What land? Here in America, man. But the one third, which is a small number, a small remnant compared to the ones that are gonna die, are gonna be saved, man. You gotta think about it. You think that's a ship or a balloon? Balloon. Let's go. Let's go. A state or feeling of great distress or discomfort of mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Read it slowly. Start over. A state or feeling of great distress. A state of great distress. That's what the Lord's about to bring upon you tribes. A state of great distress, man. Okay, go ahead. Or discomfort of You're mind. gonna be discomforted, man. Go ahead. Discomfort of mind or body. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Our people had a small taste of that when this pandemic happened, man. Yeah. You know, they were in distress, man. They, they felt it coming. That yeah, it was nothing, man. Yeah, that, that was, was ultimately nothing, it was nothing. Oh, yeah. people were stressing out over that. Yeah, stressing over your jobs, your bills, man. Wait, what's coming way worse than that, man? Everything yeah. gonna stop. Yeah. Are you gonna be stressing? How you gonna feed your fucking kids? How yeah. you gonna feed yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your your own stomach yeah. gonna be touching your back. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna be looking at your kid. And like, hey, <laughs> you're gonna be seeing a chicken wing when you look at this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. thing, nigga, little nigga, always been there. He always been there. Let's, start, let's start with you. Oh, yeah. Picking up, you're gonna be picking up a little red wing. Exactly. And be ready to eat. Yeah. You know? And these women were demons when uh, everything was shut down, man. They, they didn't uh, they, they didn't want to take care of the kids, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that goes to show it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be an old, uh, it's gonna be an easy thing for them to do that, you know? Yeah. So it's your own children. It happened yeah. before. Yeah. yeah. All right. And it's going to happen again. Yeah. A cause or source of great distress or discomfort. And it says affliction. A great distress or comfort. It's going to come from every side, man. That great distress, you're going to have to face on every side. You're not going to escape. It's going to be scary. You have to deal with yourself. Yep. Your thoughts. The environment. What's going on around you, what's here, what you're hearing outside. And the unknown, like we were talking about the other night. Right. They fear the unknown. See, but us, we, we we know what's gonna happen next. We know the Lord ain't gonna have us down and out for a long, extended time. And it says that they're gonna be a perfection, not knowing what to do, man. And that's because, that's because the Lord, like it says in the park, the Lord is gonna bring these things like apparition. Yep. Okay, he's gonna bring that triple darkness back from Egypt. Famine. Okay, famine. Okay. Yeah. Damn, uh, 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 noises. Noises in, in, the, in, the, uh, yeah. in the darkness. The sound of running water, motherfucking lions and shit. You hear them roar. 
you hear that shit? Yeah. Them brushing up against you and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> and you can't even see, not even a candle lit in front of your face will be able to shine in that. Okay? Y'all ever been in the woods? Like in the forest? Like, I can't, y'all ever been camping? No, not myself. Well, yeah. like, you go to like, on campus, Sequoia, uh -huh. and it was dark as hell, right? You just kind of like, you could feel, feel it. I had my light, and the light barely did anything. I just, you know, it did the light, but it was dark. Darkness but is it, a thing. But, but yeah. the thing is, it's going to get, the Lord said he's going to smite Egypt with pleasure before, right? Yeah, that's right. What's one of the places that he smoked Egypt with? Yeah, Darkness. Yeah. All right, none of your phones, none of your lights, nothing's going to be working. You're going to be yeah. in that darkness, and that's just what's, you know, you deal with the dark. You got to deal with the things that are in the dark, like animals, like the same lions. You know, you're going to hear lions roar. You don't know where it's going to to deal with people. People. Yeah. Hey, you know people spirits. on this fucking earth? Yeah. You have to deal with people. Let all the motherfuckers in the apartment come out. Yeah. There's going to be a hole. You're going to be like, God damn, I ain't know these motherfuckers live here. Because yeah. <laughs> you don't see people no more. You don't see people. You drive through the neighborhoods. You go to your spot. In the house. That's, yeah, that's yeah. it. You hardly see your neighbors. You know, yeah. And I see neighbors all the time. See them three times. See them in the morning. Yep. Yeah. You know, so let's go and get real fucking wild out here, man. Let's finish it off with that. We'll close it out. Yeah, go on. It's all uh, that book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse verse uh, verse nah. no, yeah, what uh, eighteen, seventeen. All right, go ahead. Sixteen and seventeen. It's uh, it says, "Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days?" All right, and our faith is that how about Shlomo is going to deliver us, man? Yeah, he's going to intervene, man. Just like he did for all of our forefathers, man. Yeah. So, all right. That also goes to show you that vision that Ezra saw was a crazy ass one. He was, like, he was seeing the destruction. He's Hell missing. Yeah, he's in the end. Everything being destroyed here in the, in the Ben Babylon. Go ahead. It says, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. And hey, look, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. That's that misery we brought out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that misery, man. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Go ahead. The beginning of wars. No, and no, the, go back. It was oh, famines, right? Oh, yeah. It says the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of famine Ooh. and great death. Yeah. And famine leads to great death. And it don't take long, man. It's not a long process. Okay? So the Lord, hey, that famine is coming. It can hit this year. Okay? The beginning of famine and great death. Go ahead. It says the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. Right? The beginning of evils. What shall I do when this evil shall come? All right, and we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashanel Shah. Let's end it off with uh, Nahum 1 and 7. Was that it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nahum 1 and 7, we'll call them out. Whoever got it. So, Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good and stronghold in the day of trouble. Right, and we know a damn great trouble is coming. A day like never before. Go ahead. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Right, so we're going to trust in how about Shemel Shai. Okay, the Lord is a stronghold for the dead mm -hmm. trouble, man. Mm -hmm. So, brothers, keep the faith. Okay, remain faithful to Yahweh, Abba Shai, no matter what, man. Okay, and Lord's world today was edifying. You know, we want to end it off giving all praise and glory. See Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, the next time, shalom.